So, topik yang saya akan cover ini adalah effective tools and strategies for online teaching. Saya difahamkan uh, anda semua akan menjalankan sebahagian daripada uh, proses uh, pengajaran dan pembelajaran PDP anda di online lah kan. Tak lama lagi ni. Kalau untuk semester yang akan bermula, tak lama lagi. Uh, saya juga difahamkan sebab ada berita yang mengatakan bahawa mungkin kolej-kolej uh, dan juga universiti akan dibenarkan untuk buka dalam tempoh dalam selepas ni lah, lebih kurang dalam Oktober macam tu. So uh, mungkin online learning akan di anda tak perlu buat sampai hujung tahun ataupun sampai tahun depan lah. Tapi bagus untuk tahu some of the things so that in case anything happen, you masih boleh continue gunakan online learning sementara waktu uh, bila pengajaran bersemuka ni tidak dapat jalankan. Okay, ada echo sikit. Okay, so don't worry. So apa yang you, you saya akan cover ini adalah benda-benda penting yang kita boleh uh, berkongsi bersama ataupun belajar sama. I, I'm sure you pun dah pernah join banyak training yang berkaitan tapi hari ini saya berkongsi sikit apa yang saya tahu apa yang saya alami dan juga berdasarkan kepada uh, pengalaman saya lah uh, especially dalam tempoh tiga bulan ni banyak yang berlaku saya uh, tak tahu di South Askia ataupun di ICATS tapi kalau di universiti lain uh, umpamanya banyak isu-isu yang telah dihadapi uh, sampai pelajar kena naik atas pokok untuk online semua tu isu-isu uh, macam tu lah nanti kita akan bincangkan okay. baiklah yang ni untuk mana yang belum pergi attendance nanti boleh buat kemudian Don't worry, okay Mana yang terlepas nanti pergi saja link ni Ni adalah agenda untuk dua hari tem, uh, Taklah dua hari penuh sehari, se Dalam dua jam lebih nanti untuk setiap hari Kita buat dua sesi Sebab takut tak larat kalau saya buat Lima jam, enam jam sekali pun nanti Tertidur semua Okay so saya pecahkan kepada dua hari lah So hari ni kita akan cover sedikit tentang Effective strategies for online teaching and then uh, content creation, cara kita hasilkan kandungan pembelajaran and then curation tool, macam mana kita kumpulkan barang uh, bukan barang lah, bahan-bahan pengajaran and then collaborative and interactive activity so yang yang bahagian hari, hari ini ada lebih ke arah penghasilan bahan lah biasanya kalau kita dah ada uh, mengajar secara bersemuka, kita dah ada slide semua tu we have our slides, we have our normal face-to-face -face teaching material tapi bila terpaksa lakukan secara online dia sebenarnya berbeza sedikit so saya akan kongsi apa yang perlu di apa yang perlu diperhatikan kalau kita buat online material lah okey oh by the way lupa kalau tiba-tiba saya off ke tak ada suara ke bagi tahu <laughs> sebab kadang-kadang connection tak berapa bagus okey um jangan saya pergi ke okey so esok pula kita akan lebih ke arah Uh, lanjutan daripada aktiviti tu, tapi saya nak fokus esok kepada assessment. I think yang ni penting. Uh, misal kata kalau anda you have to suddenly do online exam or online online assessment, what are the things that you can do? Alright, so yang saya sengaja reserve kepada esok sebab kalau hari ni campur semua nanti you pening kepala pula banyak sangat. So esok kita fokus lebih ke arah uh, online assessment tools and strategies. So hari ni lebih ke arah aktiviti dan bahan uh, pengajaran esok kita kepada penilaian. Okey. Ni agenda untuk dua hari ini, untuk dua sesi ni bukan dua ya, dua sesi. Um, kalau kita leng, kalau anda lengkapkan kedua-dua ni anda akan dapat sijil uh, completion nanti, completion certificate from from us lah. Okey. Alright. Okey, yang ni kita start dulu dengan Google Classroom. I know ada yang dah guna, ada yang belum guna, tapi kalau yang uh, belum boleh ke classroom.google.com dulu lepas tu sign up okey boleh eh pergi ke classroom.google.com i tag kat sini jap kalau ada yang guna phone nak download app pun boleh tapi kalau tak nak download app pun tak apa just go to this link sebab ini adalah antara platform yang anda boleh gunakan untuk pengajaran dalam talian Pergi ke classroom.google.com, sign in guna Google anda, Gmail anda, Google account anda ataupun Gmail anda. Lepas tu, tekan plus ke atas tu, type in code ni. So, dia akan jadi macam ni. Pergi ke classroom.google.com. Okay, kalau ada masalah kita buang, I stop sharing yang ni. I pergi ke this one. Okay. 
dia akan nampak macam ini. Okay. Pergi ke classroom.google.com Lepas tu tekan plus sign kat atas nanti Sebab kalau dah masuk nanti dia ada plus kat atas tu Anda masukkan kod ini M5ZUDFZ okay. I have chosen to use this uh, this this page as the main platform Sebab saya rasa senang sikit uh, Kalau nanti Tools lain mungkin you kena daftar lebih lebih lama sebab ada proses pendaftaran kan Yang ni I, I think ramai dah ada Gmail pun So you just sign in guna Gmail Lepas tu type in yang ni So link dia ialah classroom.google.com sahaja Classroom.google.com Seperti yang di chat tu Masuk ke tekan plus ke atas tu Kalau anda ke depan nanti Anda akan nampak plus kat atas ni Okay, and then tekan join class Bila tekan join class tu, anda masukkan kod ini I'm sure ramai yang dah guna Okay Siapa yang guna phone sekarang ni uh, Boleh Apa ni? Boleh Boleh download app Google Classroom kalau nak, kalau tak just pergi ke browser pun boleh Mana-mana yang sesuai Okay Page ni masih kosong of course sebab saya dah attendance mana yang terlepas tu boleh klik nanti saya akan activatekan link lain Okay sekarang ni masuk dulu Okay I can see some already Ada Fadila, Shida, Lisa Okay Okay Mazan dah post Okay So untuk sepanjang tempoh ni saya tak akan delete yang ni by the way So anda boleh access bila-bila masa Apa yang akan berlaku ialah Bila kita klik classwork nanti Material yang saya cover untuk sepanjang 2 hari Dua sesi ni, hari ni dan hari esok Semua akan di sini Termasuk step by step guide semua tu uh, Semua akan dalam ni So bahan-bahan tambahan semua saya akan letak dalam ni So kalau bila-bila masa anda perlukan uh, rujukan Sila Invalid code Okay, eh, what? Hmm. Ada yang ah, Kenapa ada yang boleh atau boleh Cuba refresh balik NC Sebab takut nanti bila you copy Kadang-kadang bila you copy daripada chat tu Dia sekali dengan apa Oh sebab you all ada You all dah ada email BPKS Okay okay Alright. Guna Gmail ni ya. Ini besar sikit kalau nak nampak Ada yang tak boleh masuk Interesting okay. Cuba guna Gmail biasa dulu Sepatutnya kalau guna Sepatutnya kalau guna email tu pun boleh Cuma mungkin Mungkin setting di uh, email PPKS tu Dah hadkan anda join Untuk PPKS same domain saja tu yang tu yang tak dapat Tapi kalau tak dapat sekarang don't worry, nanti you, you cuba log out daripada PPKS punya email Lepas tu guna email personal lah, Gmail ke Lepas tu join, kalau yang terlepas nanti boleh tanya Sekejap ada yang ayat, ada yang ketuk-ketuk tu lah okay. I am sure I'm sure you all pun pernah guna Google Classroom dah Sebab tu saya pilih Google Classroom sebagai base one Sebab senang sikit, tak perlu tu ha, Sila tukar ke Gmail, Gmail personal sebab kalau Sebab kalau uh, if you're using PPKS email then maybe Because Google Classroom Google uh, Suite dia ada Guna apa ni domain sendiri, kalau anda guna domain sendiri contoh PPKS punya email dia hadkan untuk penggunaan dalaman sahaja So Sebab saya kan orang luar So bila saya create Dia tak detect yang saya gunakan email PPKS So anda tak dapat masuk lah So gunakan personal gmail anda untuk masuk Okay Good good I know uh, Good that you all 
can can try to go in now. Ada lagi isu? Kalau tak kalau ada isu don't worry ya. Jangan jangan menangis, okey. Nanti we cuba tu. Sebab I I will put everything here. Bila-bila masa you nak uh, you perlukan uh, rujukan just come back to this page, alright? And then uh, all the links later I will just put it here. So including the slides, the material, whatever I uh, I, I cover for the two days will be here. Senang sikit. Kalau tak nanti susah you nak cari balik apa yang dah di cover. Okay, ramai dah hello-hello depan ni. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes, bagus. Ada ada technical help here. Jangan guna email PPKS. Okay. Alright. I can I think I can start. Okay. Mana yang dapat masuk tu? I have 90 here. Boleh cuba masuk lagi. Mana yang belum masuk? Mana yang dah masuk, pergi ke ni, warming up activities, click on it and then click on the link given. Okay. Those who cannot log in to Google Classroom, you can go to this link directly sementara waktu. Okay. Sekejap lah. Pergi dulu. Yeah, use your personal Gmail because sometimes you are signed in using your 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 official email, so it detects the domain usage. So you can log out dulu. Bukan log out sini, log out di Google Classroom. Lepas tu join in using your other email, Gmail, right? Your Google account. Okay, the log out lah. Okay, if you can't go into Google Classroom link, don't worry, you can you can go in later because I'm just informing you that this is the place where I put everything for the two days workshop. Everything that I cover, semua benda yang I can cover, I can letak kat sini. So you can access it anytime, I will not delete this. Uh, sampai no activity lah nanti. So kalau rasa sampai tahun depan masih ada yang guna, saya bi akan biarkan sahaja di sini. Cuma... If you're using Google Classroom, using your PPKS email, so nanti jangan terlupa yang yang ni di email pribadi, bukan di email uh, PPKS. Okay, alright, just in case you are begitu. So uh, now pergi ke classwork, click classwork. Those yang di di sana uh, di dalam Google Classroom, click on this one, warming up activity, or straight away kalau tak nak sebab tak dapat masuk ke Google Classroom, boleh terus ke link ini pp uh, wooklab.com/ppks kat atas tu. Uh, yang ni kalau kalau ada apa tu? Kalau ada tab buka tab baru uh, di browser. Kalau guna phone buka di browser lah. Okay. Leave dulu baru login baru ke leave bukan di Zoom uh, Mr Ricci. Di Google Classroom tu log out dulu. Lepas tu login balik. Bukan di Zoom, sekarang ni kita di dalam Zoom Di sini, di atas ni, kalau anda ni, log out Okay, lepas tu sign in balik guna your Gmail Boleh, Mr. Ricci? Okay Takut nanti you log out daripada ni, lepas tu kena join balik, okay Alright, um Issue with this one just now, like your friend mentioned, thank you for those who have, have informed. Uh, if you're using PPKS email, you cannot access directly to my my Google Classroom ni sebab I'm using an outside punya email. So you use your personal email, okay? Alright. I'm just using this page as a base for me to put things for you so that you can download it anytime. You don't have to wait for the email or whatever. So apa yang dah habis hari ni, saya akan letak dalam training dua hari ni lah. Okay. Kalau tak dapat masuk, don't worry. Nanti boleh masuk kemudian. Sekarang kita ke yang ni. I will type dalam ni juga. Wooclap.com slash p 
PPKS. Okay. Ada 62 sekarang ni dalam ni. Yang dalam WooClub ni. Okay. Soalan saya sedang saja. What are the top three tools you use for uh, online or blended learning? Alright, do you use lah? Oh, apakah aplikasi yang uh, anda gunakan paling kerap gunakan lah soalnya? Uh, paling kerap dalam uh, pengajaran dalam talian. Top three only. I only need three. Contoh kalau you gunakan Google Classroom dengan Active, so you put it as Google Classroom lah. Alright. Are we okay? Alright. Ada 83, I tunggu. So, um, this is salah satu aplikasi yang I can cover. WooClub.com. Bagi yang belum mencuba, nanti you can use this tool in your uh, teaching and learning. Macam kalau you buat live class macam saya tengah buat ni, guna Zoom. Sambil you buat aktiviti kelas, you boleh gunakan wooklab.com sebagai platform untuk uh, berinteraksi dengan your students. So you can use it to interact with your students. Okay, kalau kalau kita asyik uh, tunjuk slide daripada awal sampai akhir, mungkin pelajar tak berapa berminat. So kita boleh gunakan wooklab untuk dapatkan feedback. Macam saya tengah buat sekarang lah. Sebab kalau saya bercakap saja, anda anda tak dapat respon, you will not be able to participate. So wooklab adalah salah satu aplikasi yang kita boleh gunakan. I'm sure you dah familiar dengan uh, Mentimeter. Tak apa, nanti kita boleh tengok juga Mentimeter. Ada Mentimeter dengan WooClub dia lebih kurang sama. Cuma WooClub ni baru sikit lah. Alright. So saya ada 120 uh, feedback sekarang. Alright and um, Sekejap lah. Eh. It's, it's good to see which one yang uh, Paling kerap digunakan. Okay, kita tengok sekarang. <laughs> Nampak kaya yang Google Classroom. Ramai yang guna Google Classroom. Okay. Ada yang nak masuk ni. Sekejap. Ada lagi yang nak masuk. WhatsApp. Telegram. Nampaknya Zoom dengan Telegram pun banyak juga. Email. Google Meet. Google Classroom. Google Form. Oh, ada yang type. Uh, tu. I see a lot of Google Classroom, WhatsApp. Interesting. Lagi, lagi, lagi. Ada lagi? <laughs> Saya nak tengok screen capture ni. Okay. Nak save sebagai bukti. Alright. Okay, so setakat 159 feedback sekarang ni I think ada yang uh, multiple sebab, sebab dalam ni hanya ada 135 orang tapi feedback ya banyak sebab you can submit multiple times tak apa tapi nampak gayanya Google Classroom dengan WhatsApp paling kerap sebab mana yang paling besar tu paling kerap digunakan kalau saya tengok senarai pun boleh saya boleh tengok senarai macam ni ada yang gunakan TikTok alright Google Classroom, Padlet iCats e-learning, okay. Uh, WhatsApp, Google Meet, WhatsApp, Google Meet, Zoom Cloud, WhatsApp, 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 okay. So kalau kita tengok cloud pun, alright, okay, good. Saya nak feedback uh, sedikit. Bagaimana link Google Classroom link dengan maksud Kennedy? Maksud Mr. Kennedy, I tak apa-apa faham soalan. Bagaimana link Google Classroom link dengan Google Lab? Oh, kita buat dulu di WooClub. Maksudnya, kita buat dulu di WooClub. Lepas tu, kita hanya ambil link ni. Alright. So, bila kita ke Google Classroom kita, kita just tambah sajalah. We just add the uh, Google, Google uh, WooClub, sorry. WooClub link under, uh, you can add as a material. Lepas tu, bahagian add ni kan ada link. So, you just add the link lah. Contoh, WooClub ni lah. So, just type, oh, sorry. WooClub dot com slash ppks umpamanya so just add the link ni salah salah satu cara kita integrasikan aplikasi di luar dengan Google Classroom sebab kalau kita gunakan terlalu banyak platform macam contoh kalau saya tak ada Google Classroom ni and then I asyik bagi link so nanti pelajar pun pening sebab banyak sangat link yang nak dibagikan so 
kalau boleh kita cuba gunakan satu tempat platform khusus it doesn't matter whether it's Google Classroom or your your iCats e-learning and whatever platform you have gunakan that as a base maksudnya pangkalan yang utama dan masukkan link ke kad- kad- dalam ni so instead of gunakan kan dalam dalam Google Classroom Uh, you have assignment and all that kan so biasanya kalau assignment semua ni untuk tugasan so kita boleh gunakan material ini untuk tambah aplikasi lain lah you can add other other things so like what I did here I tambah uh, yang ni tapi tujuan utama soalan saya tadi adalah untuk kenal pasti penggunaan nampak gayanya sama juga dengan trend yang saya dapat uh, tu untuk pengetahuan semua saya baru saja selesai satu survey dengan guru-guru sekolah di Sarawak ni dekat 40,000 uh, responses kisah kita dapat itu hampir 50 lebih patut daripada keseluruhan cikgu yang ada di Sarawak ni lah trend ni sama of course WhatsApp nombor satu kemudian Google Classroom sebab diwajibkan oleh KPM dan kemudiannya Telegram so tiga ni saya nampak pattern yang sama cuma kat di sini kita nampak ada Zoom kita nampak ada Google Meet semua tu kalau di peringkat cikgu sekolah jarang Zoom digunakan mereka lebih gunakan Google Meet sebab dah datang sekali dengan Google uh, Classroom kan so I think it's similar pattern I can see some other extra tool like ada yang gunakan Kahoot, YouTube and all that so today uh, I know you have a lot of uh, you have a lot of uh, tools that you learn so I will actually pick a few and then I will go one by one yes oh Diana, Diana asked about Google yes I will cover that don't worry Uh, I will cover that booklet part step by step later. So let me go to my slide dulu. Sekejap. Lepas tu kita pergi kepada tu yang saya akan cover untuk pagi ni lah. Okay. Sekejap saja yang ni sebab I think it's important for us to sorry. It's important for us to know this. Okay. Pergi ke link tadi. Sorry. Yang tak perlu yang pergi yang ni lah. Terus pergi yang tadi. Same link, you are in WooCap just now right? Masih lagi di WooCap Tapi sekarang akan, kalau anda pergi refresh the link You will see a new soalan, soalan baru hmm, Soalan dia ialah What can you say about this photo? Link yang sama di WooCap tadi tu Just refresh Okay, just refresh And then you have Look at look at this photo Tengok gambar ni What can you say about this photo? tiga perkataan sahaja ha letak tiga perkataan maksimum okey I'm going to hide dulu bagi ke link yang sama wooklab.com/ppks alright anda akan nampak yang ni this link sorry ada yang tunggu di luar aduh kesian okey yang baru masuk welcome sorry tak nampak anda dah berada di waiting room yang yang baru masuk boleh participate link dia adalah di wooclap.com/ppks right di sini i better type in here okey By the way, kalau anda rasa nak bercakap, just unmute your microphone ya. Tak perlu malu kalau rasa senang sikit nak bercakap instead of using the chat. Or if you do not want to interrupt me, you can just put in the chat and then I will try to respond. Okay, now sekarang kita berada di sini. Look at this pic photo. Tengok gambar ni. And then what can you say about this photo? Gunakan tiga perkataan saja, jangan terlalu banyak. I have about 81 responses so far. Okay. Ada lagi, jangan saya tengok. So kita kita tengok sekejap. So link yang sama tadi tadi soalan lain, sekarang soalan lain masih lagi di WooClub yang sama. Yang ni antara kelebihan WooClub, link yang sama kita boleh create uh, uh, so, dua soalan lah paling maksimum sebab kalau nak lebih dari dua kita kena bayar yang yang satu satu apa tu satu link ni lah. Kalau tak nak, kita boleh klik link lain. Nanti saya akan tunjukkan cara nak gunakan WooClub ni. Tak perlu banyak sangat pun sebab if you're doing uh, live classes or online teaching, don't do this too many times, okay? Dua pun dah cukup, okay? Okay, now let's see the cloud. Same thing just now. 
Ah, okay, interesting. A lot of you are putting no social distancing, but the main word here I think is colorful. Uh, ada spell in UK and spell in uh, American, but still sama. Ada yang kata warna-warni. Setiap orang bermacam gaya. That's interesting. I like that. Uh, tak seimbang. <laughs> All are chairs. Different but same. Tidak kemas. Variety of choices. Susunan. Cantik. Different sizes. Bright. Kalau saya tengok satu-satu. Kalau kita tengok satu-satu, berwarna-warni, attractive, kursi kosong, perbezaan jenis kursi, no social distancing, nothing. Okay. Perbezaan latar belakang pelajar. Wow. Okay. Pelbagai idea pemikiran. Alright. Apa lagi? Different style of chair. Multiple learner needs. I like this. So, apa? Responses macam ni, maksudnya dia dah terfikir luar daripada kursi tu. <laughs> Alright, different learning environment, yes. Colors, crowded chairs, all are chairs. Okay, tapi yang paling kerap digunakan tadi, kita boleh nampak lah kan. A lot of you are talking about social distancing and colorful. Now, kalau kita tengok balik gambar ni, dengan keadaan yang kita sedang hadapi sekarang, with the situation that we are facing now, um, of course you will be saying no social distancing. Bayangkan kalau saya tunjuk gambar ini pada bulan Januari. 2020. I don't think the word social distancing akan keluar walaupun sekali. Betul tak? Alright. And um, nobody will be talking about social distancing at all at that time. Alright. Tapi sekarang because we are in the pandemic mode, we are in this uh, this this situation, suddenly the word becomes very popular and then it appears. And of course, yang paling common sekarang ialah colourful lah. Because memang pun dalam gambar ni, kita ada pelbagai kerusi dan kerusi dia berwarna-warni. We have a lot of colourful chairs on here. But I like some of you who have mentioned and related to learners. Bayangkan kalau setiap kerusi ini melambangkan pelajar anda, if it represents your uh, students, means you have different type of student kan? Uh, macam kita lah sekarang ni, I have about 134 orang dalam ni. Tak semua yang, mem, bukan tak semua, I tak mungkin kenal semua walaupun some I kenal. Alright. Uh, some are my ex-student juga, tapi what I'm trying to tell you is, bila kita buat online learning, this is one of the major problem. Apatah lagi kalau kita buat, uh, I mean, benda ni dah jadi satu isu bila kita buat bersemuka, apatah lagi bila dalam online mode. Kalau dalam kelas, kita ada 30 sampai 40 pelajar, mungkin senang kita nak kenal mereka, senang kita nak kenali perwatakan mereka, it's easier to, uh, for us to identify their weaknesses and uh, strength, maybe, but in online mode, especially if kelas tu besar, macam sekarang ni kalau satu lebih, susah untuk saya kenal satu-satu tapi masih boleh dilakukan cuma we we need to put more effort lah. We have to do more 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 work. But I assume um, my screen is black for the past five minutes. Really? Okay. Is it, is it okay now, Rachel? Okay. <laughs> Maybe it's a bit slow at your end, but anyway, don't worry. Everything is recorded. As long as you can hear me, it's okay. Can you hear me? All right. For now. All right. Um, yeah, as long as you can hear me, don't worry. Later on, you can follow up with your picture. I, I'm, I'm sure, sorry if you, can't, if you can't see things now, but I think uh, it's about the connection. All right. But don't worry. Nanti kita boleh tengok balik video. Yang penting ialah you you catch up with what I'm trying to tell you, right? Um, okay. So in terms of uh, online online teaching, dia nak um, if to say dia terlalu lain daripada face to face, sebenarnya tidak. Tapi banyak adjustment yang kita kena buat. A lot of people fikir kalau kita nak ajar online, senang sahaja just upload semua dalam online. Lepas tu kita kira kita buat online learning ataupun kita buat online teaching. Sebenarnya tidak. There are a few things that we have to do, a few uh, issue that we have to tackle. So I will share a few things first now. Um, sebelum kita pergi ke tool, eh? sebab I think ni sekejap saja tak tak banyak slide pun. Uh, I just want to highlight yang ni, yang ni sangat penting. Um, technology is nothing. What's important is that you have a faith in people, huh? and uh, they are basically good and smart. And if you give them tools, they'll do wonderful things with them. This is one some ni kata-kata Steve Jobs is something that I believe also. 
yang paling penting sekarang ialah anda semua haruslah lebih aktif you know you have to be more active uh, in order to pick up some tools and skills and then try to do things uh, doing in your online learning or online teaching lah jangan terlalu fikir tentang teknologi sebab i have encounter a lot of teachers or lecturers or even Be, uh, when it comes to technology, dia akan fikir benda negatif. Dia kata internet slow, I cannot do a lot of things, uh, I cannot, I cannot, I need I need a new laptop, I need blah blah blah, a lot of issues first. What I'm telling you here is, try to find out things that you can do first. Like like a lot of you are using WhatsApp kan, ada ramai yang gunakan WhatsApp. Sebab mungkin ada tool lain yang anda tak, selap, tak berapa selesa, anda lebih selesa dengan WhatsApp. So mungkin yang tu alternatif uh, buat sementara waktu. So you can use it first, but Uh, as you go along, you have also have to think about the learning process. So you can't depend on WhatsApp forever. You still have to figure out macam mana kita nak um, pastikan proses pembelajaran tu boleh berlaku dengan lebih baik tanpa bergantung, terlalu bergantung kepada WhatsApp. Uh, I know some students may have problem also. Pelajar pun ada masalah sendiri. Ada yang tak ada internet, ada yang tak cukup data and all that. So kalau, kalau itu adalah isu utama, then we have to figure out how to help them as well lah. So uh, situation berbeza cuma I think kalau boleh work together lah jangan work jangan terlalu fikir tentang uh, sendiri-sendiri uh, it's good to work together kalau because you're teaching in the same uh, more 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 or less teaching the same set of students yang paling unik yang macam di di universiti saya ni mas bila kita tanya student A ni dia akan kata dia tak ada internet kepada pensyarah A tapi bila pelajar yang sama kita tanya, dia kata dia boleh join kelas pensyarah B. So maksud dia, pelajar yang sama, bila dia cakap dengan uh, pensyarah A, dia kata dia tak ada internet, tak ada, tak ada data dan all kind of all kind of excuses, pelbagai alasan. Tapi pensyarah B pula, dia kata okay, dia boleh join. Maksud di sini bukan soal teknologi dah, dia soal sama ada pelajar tu receptive kepada pensyarah ataupun pengajaran uh, pensyarah tersebut lah. So it, it really matters. It, sometimes it really strikes me when student actually choose <laughs> bila kita kata tak ada internet bila, tapi they can go for other classes so it's something that you have to think about all right so i know i know this is not this is not uh, this is not uh, uh, i'm not saying that you cannot use uh, whatsapp all right but it's just that we have to figure out why you know sometimes when you ask the students right they can say that they, they don't have internet but suddenly you see them doing zoom with another lecturer right so because you're not the only one uh, teaching them you are not they are not taking your only course they are taking so many courses as well right so it's good to talk to other lecturers or talk to other instructors you figure out things that you have never encountered like what i did uh, for the past few months and i realized in unimas for example pada mulanya bila kita buat survey about 12 to 20% said they cannot join any online classes. Dia kata dia tak boleh. Tapi bila kita selidik balik, hampir kesemua dapat go online. Attendance are all almost 98 and 100%. We were shocked. We, I mean, you know, kita terkejutlah sebab pelajar kata tak ada internet. Tapi bila kita buat kelas, uh, bila pensyarah buat kelas, they can go to the classes. So something is not right means you really have to talk to your students and also talk to the lecturer. What is happening actually? Is it because they don't like your course? That's why they say no internet or because something is not right with the way you carry out your online teachings. All right. So these are the things that we have to figure out. Lah. I'm not I'm not saying that you're wrong, but from the perspective of an educator, we have to figure out kenapa. Tak cukup kalau kita hanya terima sahaja apa yang dibagitahu. Kita kena tahu why. Kalau dia kata dia tak boleh guna internet, dia tak ada internet connection. We have to figure out whether there are other ways to, to help them. All right. Uh, tambah lagi sekarang, pelajar dah boleh bergerak-gerak. Alright, tak tak seperti masa bulan empat uh, bulan lima masa tu, right? They they are not allowed to move at all. Now that that they can move, so maybe things can be done. Like for example, kalau dalam case Unimas, kita even subsidize dia punya data. We even allow them to come back to campus. Mana mana yang di rural tu kita benarkan dia boleh. That's why tak ada lah isu pelajar Unimas panjat pokok. Tak ada pun isu Unimas sampai kena ke ke dalam hutan semua tu tak ada isu. Alright. Uh, so because we are helping them, we can have to figure out how to help them in, in that sense. So what are the effective strategies? I will go to Sikit sahaja, but you can always, um, how to put it, you can, uh, you can, uh, 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 apa ni? you can ask question lah as, as I go, then uh, I'll try to entertain, alright. 
So online teaching, focus on meaningful tasks and uh, quality conversation. Can be synchronous or asynchronous. Kalau yang tak berapa familiar with this term, synchronous maksudnya real time. Yang macam kita tengah buat ni, real time. And then another one is asynchronous. Maksudnya bukan real time. Alright, non real time. Uh, yang selalu buat di, macam you buat di Google Classroom, yang you buat di WhatsApp, actually not really real time sebab bila dia post tu, you ada gap sikit. You can actually reply tomorrow, you can actually reply later. So dia tak real time. Tapi sekarang ni, apa yang saya tengah buat adalah real time, synchronous. And then, um, yeah, I, I put this because forget about quick fix, spend time on what works, know more about your learners. So let's say your learners are not really uh, able to go online. So you might want to reduce on, misalnya kata Zoom lah, right? Contoh Zoom atau Google Meet. Um, based on our, kalau kajian kita untuk tempo 2 bulan hari tu, setiap kali kita guna Zoom, kalau kita on kan semua, kalau kita on, saya on kan screen sharing ni, lepas tu I also on my my webcam. And then if participant tak perlu ramai, dalam 30 or 40 people on their webcam. And then you go for classes dalam satu jam, the amount of data use is about 1 gigabyte. Alright, 1 hour. Okay, about about 1 gigabyte per hour. So if you go for, if you continue doing this for 3 hours nanti, like what's happening now, you will consume more or less about 2 to 3 gigabyte. So some students cannot afford this. Right? So you might want to figure out what else to be done, which one way, one or the best way is to reduce this. And maybe instead of doing uh, one hour full uh, Zoom, you might want to spend about 30 minutes to focus on the key things only and then do other things yang asynchronous. Maksudnya kita kena plan lah, we have to map nicely. It's not about uh, doing, doing, you know, uh, keep on talking. Kecuali macam training macam ni lah, because we are not teaching in a way, we are doing training. I wish I can do gap like one hour, one hour, one hour, tapi kalau buat macam tu nanti issue, issue logistic among yourself pula. But, uh, tak apa, we, we see how it goes. But in your class, I do advise you to check with your learners first, figure out what works and what not, and then uh, try to try to strike the balance lah. Biasanya kita akan lebihkan asynchronous. Dalam situasi di Sarawak umpamanya, in the case of Sarawak, a lot of students prefer asynchronous because they can, they can, they boleh download, they boleh watch anytime. So kalau your class tu tak mampu nak buat live zoom macam ni, you might want to record your video and then uh, put it on YouTube, unlisted, tak perlu public, and then let them watch over and over again. So kalau sekarang internet dia tak bagus, so bila internet dia bagus sikit, contoh tengah malam internet bagus sikit, so they can still watch your video and try to pick up things, right? But there are there are few tips that we have to consider as well. I have seen many videos for the past three months. I can tell you, <laughs> beratus-ratus video yang I watch because I'm I'm helping lah. Like, because in my center helps with my center helps with the training development. I train professors. I train all these lectures, and I get all kind of all kind of feedback from negative to positive. All kind of feedback, and then they they give me all kind of uh, you know uh, nasty words you got. Tapi don't worry because we're trying to help. Uh, the thing is, sometimes you what recorded video. Tapi all you did was, you just read your slides from slide 1 to slide 30 and then it took about, let's say, one hour. And then when the student go to your video, they realize you are just reading from the slide, they just download the slide. They will not watch your video because tak ada added value pun, tengok your punya video. So there are things that you have to be concerned about. What you did in the video should be the most important part of your content and try to focus on explaining it. So I will introduce one or two tools nanti, sekejap lagi. Focus on the things that they need you to explain directly that they cannot understand just by reading the slides, all right? Uh, because we're trying to cater for those yang tak nampak, tak, da, apa, tak dapat nak online juga. So the slides should also be okay, should be should also be available sebab some people may not be able to download the, your video, tak, tak mampu nak watch your video. So they can still watch uh, apa tu? Uh, go for your slides. But the video is an added value. Whenever they can, they will just focus on the important part, right? The the basic thing is always the Q&A lah. Maksudnya, contoh you have your slides ready, you keep your video for some Q&A. You ask question and then you critically uh, try to try to explain it in a different way. So that tak sama dengan slides, right? Okay, I'll share more in a bit, but I'll go through what I'm going to cover today. So design the content based on a suitable learning. I think you don't have to worry about process or model, but uh, what I'm telling you here is, kena ada structure dulu, you map dulu betul-betul, baru kita prepare the activity ataupun prepare the content. Do not jump straight. 
bila contoh you tengok I guna WooClub, oh I nak guna WooClub juga tapi you tak faham pun macam mana nak link dengan your 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 flow or your teaching content and all that. So do a quick mapping, tak perlu terlalu detail, alright, for for a start and then try to figure out apa tool yang sesuai untuk achieve your purpose. I bagi contoh yang ni. This is a good sample of a how to start something if you're doing a mapping. So contoh face to face mode, yang ni yang kita selalu buat bersemuka contohnya, lecture and demonstration. So biasanya kita terlalu kita selalu bercakap lah contoh kalau 3 jam, kelas 3 jam, right kita akan bagi lecture ataupun kita buat demonstration pun tapi jaranglah kita bercakap non stop kan. We still have some activities going on. So you have to replace with you have to map. Contoh kalau lecture, kalau saya buat slide, apa yang akan saya cover. Kalau teaching video, apa yang saya akan cover. So you do your simple mapping dulu. And then kalau ada artikel atau apa reading materials, what are the reading materials? So the amount of time that you did for all this should be equivalent to your student learning time lah. Kalau you tengah map dengan your SLT, student learning time, jam pembelajaran pelajar tu, make sure dia equivalent lah, workload dia equivalent. Contoh, teaching video kalau 10 minit pun, tapi within the 10 minutes, you you actually ask them to do a lot of thinking or you explain something that you require them to do something, then you also have to calculate the time in. It's not just about that 10 minute video. For example, dalam video tu saya tanya soalan, lepas tu saya suruh dia orang cuba buat. So you have to calculate that time as well, so that you give that time for them to do it, and then you when you explain, you you kind of estimate the the amount of uh, itulah masa yang digunakan untuk dia selesaikan apa saja tugasan yang kita kita bagi. Okay, so discussion and activities kita ada forum, kita ada text based discussion. Yang ni not real time ni popular, selalu buat kita boleh buat di kita boleh buat di uh, berbagai platform. Live discussion yang macam kita tengah buat sekarang, alright, kita boleh cuba buat sekarang. Lepas tu ada video based discussion, dan nanti saya akan share. And then kita ada digital web body mapping, all this, some digital tools. So what I'm trying to tell you, this is sample. You map dulu what you can do, and then you have, if you have assignment, either is group or individual, you just map dulu. Contoh yang ni, biasanya assignment submit a hard copy report, sekarang dia buat secara online, alright, ataupun dia buat e-portfolio in in a uh, in a, in a platform yang you you have chosen lah which i will also share in a bit so boleh eh kalau boleh kita buat dulu mapping macam ni simple one tak perlu go into detail dulu um you know uh, kalau nak buat detail pun boleh cuma this is a this is like a rough guide for you so that you tak terasa terlalu overwhelmed sometimes we feel overwhelmed like so many things to 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 convert but whatever you have contoh slides you already have it you might want to tweak a bit some some of our site maybe tak friendly contoh kita bagi keyword saja tak sesuai sebenarnya untuk online sebab bila dia tengok keyword tu uh, they don't really get it so you might want to elaborate a bit in your slide or if you do not want to elaborate your slide kalau tak nak huraikan dalam slide terus kita gunakan video contoh slide tu hanya ada tiga keyword tapi dalam video tu kita terangkan the three keyword tu yang tu kira added value to your slide then dia akan watch your video sebab dia kena faham apa yang you dah letak dalam uh, slide tersebut okey Setakat ni ada soalan, nanti saya cek ada soalan. Um, clarify your opinion whether two hour face to face must not be equated with the exact two hours person. I think it should not be. Yes, correct. By the way, um, I think kita dah move pun. In fact, um, kita, I think uh, MQA dah move. We, you, we, kalau based on the latest perkeliling, kita dah, we, we were told that do not focus about matching it directly. Kalau two hour class tu, two hour online juga, alright? Asalkan the amount of activities yang you buat, contoh tadi, kalau all these things is equivalent to two hours, is also, is also counted. So maksudnya, we focus on the student learning time instead of the time that we spend to talk. Right? Macam ni, kalau I cakap tiga jam, tak semestinya, tak semestinya eh, tiga jam kan? Actually, you are doing more than tiga jam. Alright? Oh, ada uh, online test yang tu I will cover tomorrow but, tapi since ada soalan ni how about online test yang guna snapshot or handwritten test submit to lecture via email uh, how about means soalan dia ialah <laughs> are you asking me is it okay or not okay is it sebab soalan ni macam hanging sikit how about online test yang guna snapshot or handwritten test and submit to lecture via email <laughs> is it okay <laughs> okay if you can manage but I do I do uh, suggest kalau boleh gunakan platform yang paling senang Google Form. Nanti saya akan tunjuk kalau nak. Google Form kan ada ada function untuk benarkan file upload. 
So student boleh upload daripada Google Form Then you suruh letak nama penuh, nombor pelajar semua tu Kenapa? Kalau email, kadang-kadang bila email Dia bounce, satu hal Satu lagi, dia went to junk Ataupun student claim, student claim Student claim dia hantar Tapi sebenarnya dia tak hantar So kita tak ada record Kalau Google Form Every time yang dia buat tu, dia ada time span Bila dia upload and all that Kalau dalam Google Form tu, dia tak keluar Maksudnya dia tak pernah hantar pun Kalau email, dia boleh claim macam-macam Alright, so It's always good to You know, it's always good to have um, Apa tu? Google Form lah Boleh je, dia ambil gambar Lepas tu, dia just upload Cuma satu satu kerja lah kalau upload kan Because um, You kena manually download the gambar and then mark Kalau kalau dalam GTT copy tu senang sikit But the, But I think it's okay In fact dalam event di Unimas pun Bila isu-isu pelajar yang dia tak nak type Sebab mungkin dia tak ada laptop Sebab dia balik, kadang ada yang balik ke kampung hanya bawa handphone Dia tinggalkan dia punya laptop di kampus pun ada juga So what happen is, dia buat atas kertas Yang ambil gambar lepas tu dia hantar Boleh dibenarkan Untuk keadaan ni Alright So selagi Up, selagi apa yang pelajar mampu hantar, I think you should allow that, you should not stop it Kecuali kalau dia tak nak hantar langsung lah, itu satu hal lain pula yang kita kena uh, deal Kalau dia ada dia ada cubaan untuk hantar, if they try to hantar, in whatever manner you should allow that Cuma email tu, boleh, cuma email kan banyak sangat email masuk, I don't really encourage lah Sebab now it's not easy to 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 track sometimes, okay Use means like Google Classroom or even Google Form, paling senang Google Form lah kalau tak nak guna Google Classroom, okay just to avoid copy paste. Yeah, yeah, it's quite true. Uh, some lectures force, like even in Unimas. Um, in Unimas, we uh, some lecture dia tak nak dia tak nak student type sebab kalau type nanti ada tendency nak copy paste pun boleh. So, ada lagi soalan. We worry that if we use alternative assessment like Google Form or more creative assessment, we may get into trouble with NQ. No, 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 don't worry. I think I don't know whether you all get the the latest per clearing form in QA. Uh, BIM allow allow. Yeah, you should check that. I can share in the Google Classroom nanti the latest opening from MQA. Actually, MQA already encourages to use that because they realize the current condition doesn't allow doesn't allow all this uh, normal conventional way. Cuma my uh, my concern with uh, not my concern lah. I mean my my advice for all of you. Kalau you nak buat assessment online and all that, actually ni topic esok semuanya. Online assessment semuanya esok. You all are too excited to talk about assessment <laughs> So I mean, I know it's quite critical Cuma My advice is always keep a record of everything Kalau sudah hantar melalui WhatsApp sekalipun You can snapshot Save it in a Yang Microsoft Word ke apa Label nicely And then keep it a record Boleh dibenarkan MQA benarkan that You just have to keep a record and print it out Kalau dalam portfolio, letak dalam portfolio anda Okay Memang dia dibenarkan Even open book test pun dibenarkan um, we have online exam guideline juga and one of the ex online exam guideline from MQA ialah ni untuk semua bukan universiti saja MQA uh, termasuk dengan college semua tu uh, benarkan pengguna alternative assessment cuma yang dia dia highlight di sana ialah mesti ada record keeping maksud dia kalau kita claim kita gunakan WhatsApp sekalipun kita kena ada bukti bukan kita kata kita guna WhatsApp untuk buat assessment tapi we don't have any evidences so you have to keep all these evidences that's why I suggest you kalau boleh kalau boleh gunakan platform yang lebih sesuai so that you tak pening kepala nak keep record kalau WhatsApp misal katalah ada 60 pelajar kalau 60 pelajar hantar sekali you pun lose track yang mana satu ni tambah-tambah kalau pelajar yang kita tak save nombor dia lagi pening nombor yang you know so I do encourage you Try to find a platform, Google Form ke Or even uh, Google Classroom Find a platform that is suitable for you to keep track Kalau betul-betul tak dapat, one or two cases Yang hantar melalui WhatsApp, yang tu you boleh tolong dia submit di Google Form That's what I did also Contoh, I have a form And then all students submit But contohlah ada dua pelajar dia tak dapat Dia kata dia tak dapat buka Google Form Mungkin connection slow ke, dia tak dapat upload Dia hantar melalui WhatsApp So what I did is I tolong dia submit melalui Google Form and then I ambil gambar yang I submit tu, I hantar kat dia juga sebagai bukti and then I also have a uh, bukti. So, dia tak ada alasan yang saya tak submit untuk on behalf kalau ada isu macam tu lah. So, this is something like record keeping lah. A bit more work but it's good kalau you are concerned about MQA semua tu. After all, memang like what uh, your friend mentioned here, it just Evidence sebenarnya, ya yeah, don't worry, MQA memang benarkan In fact, MQA galakkan kita gunakan alternative assessment Sebab kalau nak buat online exam 
susah kita nak kumpulkan pelajar sekaligus uh, nanti ada isu yang tak dapat log in lah semua tu so kalau kita ada alternative assessment buat ongoing quizzes or portfolio semua tu lagi digalakkan cuma like I told you evidences esok saya akan cover lagi cara kita nak capture all these evidence even kalau you guna telegram, you guna whatsapp pun dia ada method untuk kita capture all these evidence dengan cara yang lebih senang lah kita, kita save it for esok right. slide tu don't worry ya, slide tu semua ada dalam google classroom nanti yang link saya bagi tu nanti boleh saya akan share dalam tu juga okay these are a few things, this is just for your for your. I just put in the slides uh, just for you to know, I think we already know this, tak kira sama ada face to face or whether it's online we have to make sure that The, the our content or our teaching delivery is active achievable I mean, with the achievable learning outcomes semua ni kita dah tahu alright um, yang jadi isu ya ialah bila online ni adalah dua bahagian ni lah some of you pun dah excited pasal yang assess ni authentic and assess the problem is sometimes kalau kita buat practical skills I know macam I catch and uh, you know like your case I catch and also BBKS you have a lot of courses which is quite practical kan So kalau nak kira authentic tu, sebenarnya authenticity dia akan kurang. The authenticity of the certain task or assessment tu will drop because sekarang dalam mode online, dia tak dapat buat secara hands on contoh dia. So the authenticity tu akan menurun. So uh, I'm not sure how you do the planning. That's why I told you, you have to do the mapping first. Let's say you know that the uh, hands on part is really really important. Dia masih kena gunakan hands on. Then jangan jangan buat online yang tu dulu. Yang mana yang hands on tu kemudian kan. Dengan harapan bahawa by Oktober kita boleh berjumpa kembali face to face time masa tu lah kita buat hands on dengan harapan lah tapi misal kata lah kalau tak dapat juga buat hands on then you have a backup plan for the hands on part but mana yang dapat deliver secara online you deliver online first and those that you cannot deliver online you kemudian kan right? kecuali kalau dia disturb the whole flow then you have to figure out how to how to how to do it online. I will share a few uh, tips on this. Assessment pun sama juga. Don't worry too much about online exam yang final tu. Alright. Try to figure out what other ways can, can you, you know, track the student punya progress. Learning outcome satu umpamanya. Instead of tunggu sampai 3-4 unit, and then you try to do a quiz. You might want to have like after 2 unit, you do a quiz. And then you progressively test them. That would allow, asalkan ada record lah. Okay. But again, it goes back to your planning with the learning outcome alignment semua tu yang ni lebih kepada curriculum lah but my part here is to tell you what are the what are the means so I think you also have to rujuk balik dengan your uh, your unit yang handle curriculum and all that good to check with them uh, apa yang you know uh, di, di, dibenarkan and that but as far as I know uh, kalau mengikut keliling um, MQA yang terkini memang uh, setiap institusi dibenarkan untuk decide di the, uh, the alternative assessment alright cuma dia galakkan Uh, record keeping sahaja. Okay, so this is a sample. Saya buat secara asynchronous, maksudnya bukan real time. Saya guna Padlet umpamanya. I can always ask my student to form groups. Ni group satu, group dua dengan like, different nama. Bagi yang tak pernah gunakan Padlet, I'm sure I think ramai dah guna Padlet, tapi bagi yang tak pernah guna, boleh cuba Padlet. Ya, Kalau you guna shelf mode like this, so setiap group tu, walaupun kita tak berjumpa, alright, yang ni adalah, contohlah yang ni, berlaku pada tempoh uh, uh, apa ni, bila kita bersemuka ok, mana-mana yang bersemuka, you just upload first and then bila dah online nanti they can still continue apa yang dia dia dah buat secara face to face uh, this is one way lah to galakkan galakkan collaboration this is one example of how we can do online teaching by by having some group discussion on group tasks later on I'll go one by one, this is just a sample Okay, another one is the popular one, WhatsApp dengan uh, Telegram. Um, this is just a tip on using hashtag. I shared this a lot. I think some of you may have heard me sharing about this. Bila kita buat task di group di WhatsApp and Telegram tu, kalau boleh, cuba cuba set dengan pelajar bahawa uh, cuba elakkan dia reply beramai-ramai. Okay, kalau contoh, you suruh dia buat aktiviti macam ni, you tag as task one, And then every time dia jawab, dia akan tag juga task 1. So bila you search balik, senang you nak track jawapan tu. Alright. Cuma masalah dia ialah uh, nak track uh, ter kalau terlalu ramai, alright, you kena make sure you save all their numbers lah. Okay, kena make sure you save all their 
oh dia phone numbers tu satu hal pula kalau tak nanti ada yang nombor dekat-dekat tu you you pening yang ni siapa punya so you have to uh, try ataupun kalau satu cara lagi ramai yang pencara guna juga walaupun pelajar rasa a bit redundant is to put their name contoh kalau ni task one dia letak nama dia kat sebelah ni so contoh Chua Kiman sini ataupun Kiman so that you can just copy paste copy paste copy paste kalau tak nanti bila you copy yang ni untuk record you dalam Microsoft Word ke apa you pun tak ingat dah yang ni siapa punya sebab bila you copy kita tak copy tak 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 dapat copy sekali dengan nombor sekaligus kecuali kita type kan so one way is to just ask them to put their name task one uh, Kiman umpamanya so I just save paste copy paste copy paste ni kalau kalau nak save tu jangan guna phone lah, guna WhatsApp web sebab senang nak save. Ataupun kalau malas nak save satu-satu, screenshot the whole thing pun boleh. Kalau Telegram lagi senang sebab Telegram dia bila hashtag dia ada link terus. So this is one tip for you to this is one tip for you to manage kalau kita gunakan WhatsApp ataupun Telegram dalam sebarang aktiviti. Yang ni you see here, this is a sample of activity I, I did in WhatsApp. So I say here is a quick task, try to find out the key concept. I think some some people will say boleh ke yang ni? Uh, terima ke MQA sebab nampak macam tak berperformer guna WhatsApp tapi what to do kalau grup pelajar ni memang tak dapat akses online oh ya yeah, by the way like in my case ni bukan semua pelajar dalam grup ni ni adalah pelajar-pelajar istimewa right maksud dia pelajar yang ada case khas yang tak dapat go online faham tak yang inilah yang belah ni yang ni bukan saya punya ni just sample yang belah WhatsApp ni so kalau you nak buat group for WhatsApp you only entertain those yang betul-betul tak ada betul-betul tak ada uh, connection kalau nak senang nak manage kalau pelajar ramai sangatlah kalau pelajar tak ramai boleh je letak semua cuma uh, our focus is on those yang tak mampu nak go to Google Classroom tak mampu nak go to your iCast e-learning tak mampu nak go to other tools so you, you create a group for them so that every time you ask them to do something senang you nak keep track kalau you letak semua 60 dalam tu even yang internet laju pun akan respond juga so nanti macam satu hal pula you nak you nak keep track alright those yang can Uh, access the internet well, they can always use Google Form or Google Classroom dan mana-mana yang tak mampu tu, you create a special group for those uh, in WhatsApp. Taklah semua dalam WhatsApp group. Okay, this is one way to manage. Kalau tak, kita yang kita yang sengsara nanti bila ramai-ramai menjawab and then kita lost track. Okay, alright. Okay, eh, by the way, um, seperti saya kata-kata kata -kata tadi, MQA benarkan asalkan ada record keeping. Alright. Okay. Uh, yang ni contoh psychomotor skills and all that um, kalau kita buat online psychomotor skill kita tak mampu nak buat secara bersemuka so what happen is dia akan jadi macam ni lah yang ni contoh saja yang ni dia guna tiktok uh, dia record cara dia buat this um, you know uh, emergency right incubation right so dia 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 record lepas tu dia share lepas tu dia suruh student komen nampak tak beberapa komen kat sini of course ada komen-komen yang tak berkaitan juga lah, okay so um, another another thing is you can also do the backward part kalau yang ajar practical tu, backward maksud dia sekarang ni kan tak dapat berjumpa and then dia tak boleh buat what happen is you tunjuk dulu macam prototype ni type 1, type 2, type 3 lepas tu you suruh dia kaji, apa yang kelebihan type 1, apa kelebihan type 2, type 3 umpamanya you have to reverse the task a bit lah, we call it reverse engineering tak berapa authentic like I told you the authenticity of this kind of task will drop because uh, you they can't do it hands on right but still better than nothing kalau kalau dia tak you know better than tak dapat nak belajar anything from the whole process ataupun uh, macam in some of the engineering courses in Unimas lecturer suruh pelajar cari bahan-bahan yang sedia ada di macam ni contoh contohlah dia boleh cari botol ke apa pipe ke apa mana-mana yang ada di rumah they try to do a prototype on their own to understand the whole concept of uh, contoh yang ni breathing ventilator umpamanya not everything of course ada few few ataupun bidang-bidang uh, yang tak boleh buat macam ni tapi kalau kalau boleh you buat dulu mana yang mana yang mampu lah mana yang betul-betul kena hands on tu buat kemudian uh, contoh culinary alright uh, masak boleh je dia beli bahan and then masak di rumah and then buat record video and then hantar right mungkin dia ada skill skill tertentu yang tak tak berapa bagus so you can comment oh yang ni salah and all that so these are the things that you can do uh, mana yang tak mampu nak buat online tu kita kemudian kan okay ya yeah, boleh tengok di FB MQA betul ada advisory note tu uh, thank you alright 
Yang ni untuk tempoh macam maksudnya MQA dia pun faham situasi sekarang so they give the leniency sampai Disember sebenarnya Disember 2020. But I told you ada latest news yang disebabkan sekolah pun dah buka. Ada latest news yang ber- mengatakan bahawa mungkin nanti akan diawalkan. Don't quote me lah. <laughs> Walaupun yang ni recorded don't quote me yet. Tunggu 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 pengumuman seterusnya but ada ura-ura yang uh, kampus mungkin boleh di uh, dibenarkan cuma biasalah SOP semua tu. But for MQA wise memang dah ada keluarkan uh, tu yang kita boleh ada sedikit flexibility in the assessment. Alright. Alright. So I'm done with the slides. The slide will be available on the Google Classroom nanti. But I nak pergi tu dulu. Okay. Kita pergi ke I think I'm sure you dah familiar dengan Google Classroom. So I nak pergi WooClap sekejap. I want to go to WooClap. So what you can do ya kalau you nak cuba You can go to clap.com, buka tab baru and then go to clap. After clap ni, I will stop sekejap, give you time to brief. <laughs> Kalau nak pergi tandas ke apa, alright. Uh, okay, by the way, pergi clap.com. Kalau yang pernah guna Mentimeter, uh, konsep dia sendiri sama. Tapi I will go to clap dulu. Uh, tak perlu bayar uh, for for any sign up just login ataupun sign up alright tak, kalau yang tak ada account just sign up so i dah sign up okay i have to log out dulu jap mana pula ni oops sorry i log out dulu eh senang sikit okay bila kita tekan sign in dia akan benarkan kita sign in guna web facebook Google, LinkedIn and Microsoft. So kalau your institution ada account sendiri, boleh gunakanlah. Uh, kalau saya, saya lebih suka guna Google sebab boleh save. Alright, so just sign in with Google. Dia akan detect Google kita. Lepas masuklah. Okay. Now, uh, yang ni yang I give you tadi, I lupa nak rename. Kalau I stop now, you tak dapat nak, you tak dapat nak jawab now. Okay, let me explain first what is WooClap punya concept. Uh, WooClap is like some interactive polling or opinion uh, collection ataupun um, quizzes tapi quiz dia tak se- sehebat Kahoot lah. I think you all dah familiar dengan Kahoot dengan quizzes. Nanti I will go to that part tomorrow. Some other tips yang kita ada di Kahoot, ada tips di quizzes yang kita boleh gunakan. Tapi hari ni untuk uh, WooClap ni bila kita create satu event, dia panggil event tapi kita bayangkan event tu macam satu kelas lah. You can always name it like kelas 1, kelas 2 ataupun sesi 1, sesi 2. You can create unlimited event. Dia tak ada limit. Yang ni dia tak ada limit. You can create as many as many event as you as you want. Like macam here, I have a few here. Ada yang I dah delete but you can have as many as you want but setiap event ni, each of this, you can only add two question dalam tu. So, uh, Maksud dia, kalau you pergi ke googlab.com slash ppks ni nanti you can only see two question. Macam tadi lah kan, two questions only. I think cukup lah sebab we don't need so many. Tapi kalau anda perlukan lebih daripada dua soalan untuk satu sesi, contoh your sesi is dua jam lebih, you just create another one lah. So create one event for two question, and then create another one for two question. So you can run run dua link sekali. Okay, two, two concept dia. So kalau nak boleh pergi ke googlab.com sekarang, Okay, log, log in. Anda akan nampak ni. So, just create a new event. So, contoh saya create na. So, bila create, dia akan kata my new event. So, I can say PPKS2. Alright, I can say PPKS2. Sekejap, tak save. PPKS2. <laughs> okay, PPKS2. New link. Lepas tu atas ni ada link baru. So, you can rename the link also. Selagi tak ada orang ambil, uh, you can use it. So like now, tadi you pergi ke wooclap.com slash ppks. Now if you go to wooclap.com slash ppks2, ni yang ni. Dia akan jadi yang ni. Alright. So, uh, no question. Kat sini no question yet. Kalau you start pun, tak ada apa-apa. Alright. So what happen is, you can choose. You nak buat multiple choice, poll. You can choose find on image, rating, open question. Work, work, work club, find a number, matching and all that. Kalau yang tadi, I guna polling, alright? So, I guna yang polling ni. I guna yang open question dengan polling tadi, okay? Kalau open question yang macam jawab tadi lah. Apakah perasaan anda 
hari ini. Okay, for example. So you just put the question here and then save. Dia akan keluar kat sini. So kalau you nak tukar ke word cloud, just tekan word cloud ni. You will be able to see the dalam bentuk word cloud lah yang macam perkataan yang banyak-banyak tu. Alright. Kalau nak list, tekan list. Okay. This is one sample. Kalau nak hardkan, if you want to uh, limit the number of submission, you can just buang yang ni. Multiple answer, jangan on. Kalau on, macam tadi, you can actually resubmit many as many times as you want sebab saya benarkan. Alright, so and then save. Okay. Faham konsep ni? So kalau anda pergi ke PPKS2 sekarang, kalau saya bagi contoh sekarang ni, kalau anda pergi ke link ni, you will see the question that I I just bagi contoh lah kalau kalau you create your own you create your own WooClap that will be the link that you give to students. So WooClap and Mentimeter and all this sesuai digunakan bila kita buat live sesi live macam ni. Contoh uh, untuk your class biasanya kalau you akan bercakap semalam 2 jam janganlah buat janganlah buat kelas uh, online 2 2 jam kan sebab nanti uh, student student pun stress right. So mungkin you boleh Cover dulu something in the slide ke, video ke, ataupun perbincangan di Google Classroom umpamanya. And then you buat satu sesi khas macam maybe one hour live Q&A session. So sambil you buat live tu, you boleh selitkan all this WooClap punya activity. So that sometimes kalau you tanya dalam chat, tak ramai yang nak respon tu satu. Satu lagi susah nak baca satu-satu dekat chat. Kalau sekarang ni, if I go to the chat dalam dalam Zoom ni, I have to baca satu-satu. Kalau dalam, kalau dalam WooClap, I can easily tekan result and all that. You know, these are the things lah. Okay. Ni contoh uh, penggunaan booklet. Okay, nampak tak? Happy, happy sangat. <laughs> Ada yang letak emoji and all that. Okay, so ni sample. So the moment I exit and then I stop ni, you tak dapat nak continue lagi lah. Macam juga kalau you buat your booklet, selagi you tak stop, selagi tu pelajar mampu untuk jawab, sampai sampai you stop. So kalau saya stop sekarang, sekarang saya exit ni. Okay. Kalau saya tekan edit. Sorry, dia tak ada start now. So you tak dapat jawab sekarang. Alright, kalau you pergi, if I go to this link. If I go to this link now. PPKS2. If I go to this link now. You will see nothing here kan? Dia tak ada apa-apa sebab I tak start. So the moment I tekan start kat sini, you akan nampak balik the the, the form lah. Right? Mana yang belum jawab. Boleh faham ke konsep WooClap ni? So bila we use uh, WooClap, we create one WooClap, kita nak link terus ke uh, Google Classroom pun boleh so that pelajar boleh respond sambil respond dulu. Ataupun kita buat secara live. Saya lebih suka gunakan WooClap atau Mentimeter secara live lah macam sekarang. So you can always screen share and then you show your WooClap uh, screen sharing and then the uh, the student will be able to to respond. Alright. Ada tak uh, masalah tentang WooClap? Okay, and then, uh, kalau WooClap ni ada satu soalan yang saya sangat suka. Yang multiple choice poll WooClap tu dah biasa sangat. Satu yang saya suka ialah yang ni. Yang uh, brainstorming ni. Yang ni sangat sangat menarik. Kalau saya tekan sekarang, anda boleh cuba. Uh, you can try this. Uh, apa lah, saya nak bayar ni. Okay. Uh, what are the challenges of online learning? Okay, maybe what do you think? What do you think of online learning? Okay, apa pendapat anda tentang online learning? So, kita ada kategori. Dia macam sticky note. So, kita ada label tiga baris. So, you just key in. So, the good, the bad, the funny. Okay, contohlah. Okay. Okay. You can add as many as you want. Eh? You can add as many as you want. Okay, tapi contohlah ada tiga ni. Kalau I save. And then I start. Okay, you can try. Pergi ke wooklab.com slash ppks2 ni. Anda akan nampak yang ni. You will see this one. Okay. Dia macam sticky note. And then you boleh pilih the good, the bad or the funny. Contoh kalau I type here the good. Very easy to deliver contohnya lah ok so I tekan submit so, satu, kalau anda nak tambah lagi the bad tambah, poor internet connection contoh dia 
Okay, tambah. So, different color means different category. So, ada tiga kategori ada good, the bad, the funny. Okay. Kalau dalam uh, bersemuka, proses bersemuka, aktiviti ni sama macam kita bagi majung paper, kita pecahkan tiga kolam, the good, the bad, the funny. Lepas tu kita bagi sticky note, kita suruh pelajar tulis, bincang, lepas tu tampal, 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 right. And then mana yang tak berapa sesuai, contoh dia letak something good dalam bag, kita move, kita alihkan sticky note, tampal kat sini. Kan konsep macam tu. Tapi kalau you kena work clap, kalau I hide ni, kalau I buat macam ni, nampak tak color tu represent. So what I happen is, dia akan pecah macam column macam ni. And then macam ni, time consuming, good ke bad? Bad kan? So I boleh tarik dia ke sini, yang time consuming tu jadi tukar color dah. Okay. Need more data, contoh yang ni the bad. So I just tarik, uh, tak payah make up. <laughs> Seronoknya. Can do in the toilet. Uh, betul, betul, betul. <laughs> Okay, this is what I like about this this part. You can actually move around, right? You can move around and then it changes color. Like, feel like a celebrity. If you think, feel like celebrity is not so swide funny, you can just drag it here. So, macam sekarang lah, imagine kalau your student dah buat, tengah buat ni, right? Instead of buat perbincangan secara common, so they can actually category dia satu-satu and you can bincang. So, you can go through satu-satu. Kalau awak rasa yang ni, uh, contoh cannot meet GF, okay tak apa-apa so you boleh delete, misalkan kata lah. Okay, kalau rasa nak tambah lagi kategori, boleh tambah. Contoh the ugly. Uh. <laughs> so, dia ada empat column. You can tambah as many column as you want. So, this is this is kind of fun and interesting if you're doing brainstorming real time macam ni. So, kadang-kadang kalau uh, in a class, you have, you already done your whatever lecture you need to deliver. You might want to spend like contoh yang, yang ni, activity ni untuk setengah jam umpamanya. Alright, so just share lah. Okay, so if you go to this one, kalau pergi ke link ni, you boleh pilih different color. Sekarang automatic color tambah. I tak perlu buat apa-apa pun. I don't have to refresh or apa dia. Automatic dia akan refresh sendiri. Even sini pun dia auto refresh. Okay. Can try this one. Alright, can, can try this one if you are interested. Uh, sekejap, I ada orang masuk, okay. Trump. <laughs> Trump juga jadi mangsa. Okay. So, kalau dalam WooClub, yang ni dipanggil sebagai brainstorming. So, boleh cuba your activity ni untuk your class, right? Uh, don't worry, eh? kalau you terlepas step by step, don't worry. Nanti ada PDF file yang akan I upload ke Google Classroom tu. Uh, link untuk cara kita buat ni satu-satu. I pun ada video juga untuk step by step guide kalau anda perlukan uh, bantuan. Okay. Yeah, COVID-19 is the ugly one. Okay. Alright. Boleh? Ada soalan tentang Google Lab? If you have problem with Google Lab, let me know. Uh, like, let me show you Mentimeter. Kalau yang pernah dengar Mentimeter tu, tu common lah kan. Selalu dengar Mentimeter.com. Sama juga konsep dia. Cuma Mentimeter dia tak ada yang brainstorming secara ni. Ni Mentimeter. Konsep dia sama juga dengan WooClub, tapi Mentimeter wujud dulu. Okay, sebelum sebelum uh, WooClub lah. Anda boleh guna dua-dua pun kalau nak. Maybe this week guna Mentimeter, next week guna WooClub, mana yang mana yang mampu uh, guna live lah. Okay. You try this sekali in your class. I don't know whether it works but it's good to experiment. Kadang-kadang bila kita sebagai pensyarah atau pengajar ni, it's good to test our student. What I found out is, Uh, there were a few like, uh, professors, senior professors in our universities yang selama ni, bila dia mengajar, dia guna slides. So, bila dia dah attend our training macam ni and then dia start to use this WooClap and all that, tiba-tiba, the student become so active in dalam kelas dia sampai ke tahap, dia, the professor tu pula yang jadi excited. <laughs> so, macam a few professors actually, they, they always consult me juga cara nak buat semua ni. So, sampai tengah malam dia orang prepare. So, I pun memang salute lah. Because they get excited when the students are excited. So, kadang-kadang bila kita rasa, okay, mungkin attendance akan kurang. Tapi bila you buat activities like this, then student yang tak ada data ataupun tak ada internet pun tiba-tiba ada data, tiba-tiba ada internet. Because they figure out that they, if they don't participate in your activity, they felt like left out. Right? But of course, jangan buat terlalu kerap. Because uh, kalau terlalu kerap, dia jadi boring. And then student need that kind of excitement. So, kadang-kadang, it's not really about di kekangan uh, teknologi sebenarnya. It's about how we deliver. Right? 
you'll be surprised like my classes memang 100% so far online alright even though bila set pagi yang sama dalam kelas lain dia bagi tahu pensyarah tu tak ada internet saya saya kata kena dengan pensyarah tu tak logik dia baru saja lepas my my session contoh so these are the things lah. i mean i'm not i'm not saying i'm good but it means student kadang-kadang bila dia kata dia tak ada internet tu it's not 100% tak ada internet you have to dig out a bit alright mungkin it's the way you deliver things that tak me tak me you know tak merangsang ataupun doesn't encourage them to go online pun mungkin dia kata tak perlu pun go online sebab i can actually study all the, all the things on my own based on your slides contohnya lah alright so kena fikirkan benda ni juga jangan terlalu obsessed dengan teknologi uh, just because i i kata uclap ni bagus oh, semua guna uclap tak ada jangan macam tu but you learn dulu kalau rasa sesuai uh, mungkin when you start your class you can you can introduce it and then you know uh, try try it out lah kan okay Okay, any other question before we move on? Ada soalan tak? Kita take five maybe. Kalau nak kalau nak break sekejap, nak pergi tandas tu, can do in the toilet. Entah-entah, uh, ni dalam toilet kot. <laughs> uh, take five sekejap. Kalau ada soalan, boleh soalan. Can correct hidung, betul. Ada seorang uh, pelajar bukan kelas saya uh, kelas pencara FST sebab uh, fakulti sains teknologi tu dia tunjuk kat saya satu video pelajar tu tak sedar yang sesi sesi zoom dia tu di record kelas tu tak lama dalam 40 minit macam tu so what happen is this uh, student dia tengah apa tu uh, dia tengah tengok uh, drama Korea okey so dia pasang headphone Lepas tu dia ambil popcorn, dia makan, makan. Lepas tu dia duduk senyum-senyum gelak-gelak. Maksudnya dia tak dengar pun apa yang pesara tu cakap. So pesara cakap tentang uh, benda serius. So so uh, but he that she doesn't realize that it was recorded lah. So bila dia tengok balik video tu dia rasa malu sebab dia tengah tengok Korean drama. You know? These are the things lah. Okay, that yang you encounter later. Okay. Ya, yeah, boleh kopi-kopi tapi tak ada kopi. <laughs> Ni lah nasib dia online training kan. Kalau offline training dah boleh makan-makan dah. Okay. Okay, rehat sekejap. Kalau nak pergi toilet, kalau lebih sekejap. Kalau tak, we can continue. Ni pun dah buku sepuluh setengah ni. Uh, okay. Kalau tak ada apa-apa, I can continue lah. Okay. Ada soalan lagi tentang WooClap? Carry on. Okay, good. Now, done with WooClap. Try to explore. Uh, kalau tak dapat ikut the step by step, nanti rujuk balik ke ni, page ni nanti. Nanti bila you click, uh, by the end of today training, nanti I will put in here. Tomorrow pun sama. I will do the same. So, uh, sebab I tak, letak, tak, tak nak letak dulu, nanti you rushing nak masuk page ni, nanti you can masuk. I will also email all of you lah to inform. So, uh, WooClap done. Okay, Mentimeter done. Let me close this dulu. Next, I want to uh, go for um, video. Okay, so but I think a lot of question tentang cara nak buat video kalau perlu. Um, so, uh, kalau you nak take five, you can take five. Don't worry. Uh, pergi pergi toilet sekejap. Okay. Uh, while waiting, for those yang tengah wait, uh, waiting ni, boleh respond sikit di chat umpamanya. Uh, how many of you rasa, you know, uh, you need to do teaching video? Okay. I buat poll je senang. Sekejap, I buat poll je lah senang. Okay. Ya, yeah, sekejap. Is there a need for you to do teaching video? Okay. I make it anonymous. Yes. No. Okay, nampak di screen. Kalau yang guna mobile phone tu, tekan di pull, dia akan keluar. Okay, dia shoot keluar. Ada yang kata no, ada yang kata tak apa. I just want to know actually. Yang take five tu take five. Sambil-sambil tunggu take five ni boleh jawab soalan ni. Is there a need for you to do teaching video? I mean teaching video ni video pengajaran lah. Video, macam video yang you selalu nampak di YouTube semua tu. For your case especially. Perlu tak you buat teaching video? So far, based on 58 orang ni, ha, mostly yes. Tak apa, ada yang no. Kalau yang pernah guna Zoom, uh, 
you can also use this pull to pull uh, function eh. Cuma zoom ni kalau basic tu dia banyak limitation dia, alright. Yang yang saya sedang guna ni yang pro, alright. Tu pun bayar sendiri. <laughs> Ini mas tak bayar. <laughs> Sebab uh, we use Webex. Satu aplikasi lain yang kita buat di ni kita guna ni mas is Webex. I don't know about PPKS or iCat, mungkin belum lagi. But um, But it depends. Macam contoh in my case, uh, majority pelajar saya lebih suka Zoom, so saya guna Zoom. Kalau majority pelajar saya suka Google Meet, then guna Google Meet lah. Alright. In fact, Google Meet pun dah bagus sekarang sebab ada sekarang dah free. Kalau yang tak guna domain sini pun, you can use Google Meet. Alright. Okay. Tak apa. Nampak based on the poll, majority kata yes. Uh, ada juga yang kata no. Alright. So dalam situasi apakah kita perlu buat video teaching? Ah zoom nyaman betul. <laughs> Sebab dia smooth. Ah yeah, yes, I will teach software to teach college means record video kan? Is that what you mean? Ah uh, Iktia. Maksud dia buat buat video yang macam you know explain explain cara kita buat calculation, right? Okay, nanti I will tunjuk. Okay, kita pergi so yeah, I'm going to end this poll. Sekejap. Kalau nak respon boleh sambil-sambil saya pergi ke YouTube ni. Saya nak tunjuk satu YouTube ni. Ni ni cikgu lah tapi tingkatan dia buat fizik ni. Dia buat channel di... Dalam video ni kita akan lihat. What I notice is dia buat... Dia aktif masa PKP ni sebab kan kelas tak ada di sekolah. And then dia buat... Dia buat video penerangan tentang fizik semua ni. Semua gunakan style macam ni. Okay. Dalam video ini kita... Semua guna style macam ni lah. Dia lukis-lukis atas whiteboard ni. Semua video ni macam ni. Tak ada nampak muka uh, or you know webcam semua tu. Just like this. Alright. Dia lukis. So this is one of the tools that I I will cover today. Tapi bukan yang tu ni. Tak tu lah satu lagi. Cuma what I notice is apa yang saya observe sepanjang this three months ni This kind of video lagi ramai apa ni? Lagi ramai yang watch uh, berbanding dengan uh, apa tu? Yang ada muka, faham tak? You know like like talking head type. Even even uh, those yang susah-susah uh, buat editing semua tu, then tak ramai yang rujuk. So it means this kind of video is quite useful. And you kalau yang aja calculation, yang aja you know concept and all that is good to to use this. Okay. So I'm going to go for this two dulu. I think this one is quite quite interesting. So yang ni I end dulu poll dia. Okay. Sekejap lah, I end poll dulu. Uh, save dulu. Okay. Aplikasi yang I nak tunjuk sekarang dipanggil sebagai openboard.ch Tak apa lah, if you can't follow step by step, jangan risau. Okay, sebab nanti memang ada guide one by one. Cuma you dengar apa yang patut dulu. So apa open board ni? Nampak macam whiteboarding biasa tapi dia didatangkan dengan satu fungsi yang to me sangat bagus sebab uh, you can actually record everything without another software. You don't need another extra software to record apa yang you tengah lukis-lukis, apa yang you tengah tulis-tulis atas whiteboard tu. So boleh download open board for free. Dia ada untuk Windows, Mac OS dengan Linux. Right, download dulu, install. So sekarang saya buka ha? sebab saya dah saya dah ada. Okay. Check dulu. Uh, can you see the my open board? Just say yes kalau ada. Black black screen with the board kalau kalau nampak. Okay good. Sebab kadang-kadang bila I launch uh, sebab pernah I launch dia tak dia dia tak nampak. Okay good. Okay thank you bagi yang respon tu. Okay this is this is this is open board. Dahlah dia free. Dahlah dia open source. Tak ada watermark apa-apa really useful because you see the magic later. Contoh ah, ha? okey. Kalau ada stylus, kalau ada yang mampu beli tablet yang you know yang yang drawing tablet tu, uh, yang brand China nama apa tu? Hu H U O apa something yang satu lebih kalau dapat kalau you dapat uh, plug in pun boleh. Alright. Download terus ke encik? No 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 no, jangan download dulu. No no. Uh, yang ni you install you install uh, apa ni? You install dalam your uh, PC nantilah okey kalau ada drawing tablet guna kalau tak ada tak apa you guna mouse pun boleh quite quite
quite beautiful. Those who say no means what do you see? You see blank screen, black, right? Or what did you see? Okay. Nothing. Yeah, it's nothing there because it's black. Those who say yes, what did you see then? <laughs> ada yang yes, ada yang no. Ada yang yes, ada yang no. Okay, memang blank lah. Kalau you see blank, memang blank. Okay, okay, maybe I write something. Okay, let me write something. Let me write something. I tak guna tablet lah. I guna mouse sahaja. Nampak? Testing. Nampak perkataan testing? Are you able to see the, the testing? Zoom. Zoom. Tak nampak. Oh, okay. Means... Probably the connection is not showing. Let me just stop sharing for a while and then reshare. Now, are you able to see? Okay, you don't have to download, eh, by the way, just in case. Don't download yet. Yang tu download tu, you... You download kemudian Sebab saya dah download, saya nak tunjuk dulu Okay, sebab kalau download, install you, It will take some time for you to try So, lepas this session nanti Petang nanti ke, malam nanti ke You can try, okay You'll be amazed with this thing Okay, now I'm going to clear this board I think sometimes it's lagging You know, I I tunjuk Tapi dia lagging sikit Display Okay, now I blank eh? Now totally blank You can choose the background here If you don't like black You can go for white Alright You can go for the one with the lines the line and all that tapi if you are producing video best practices for this one use black background because if it's white it's not suitable for the eyes all right sebab nanti white bila you tulis dia uh, like kalau uh, pelajar guna phone ke you know to watch your video dia akan glaring so you go for black i think if you can see uh yeah uh, han academy right those of you yang pernah tengok han academy dia buat dia punya video mostly Mesti dalam bentuk macam ni So kalau nak grid Those yang teaching graph semua tu Boleh guna yang grid Kalau nak yang style line pun boleh guna line So let's say I go for the normal one Of course this is nothing nothing really special yet Atas ni you can pick the color you wish Biasanya kita akan guna Guna yellow lah kan Then you can tick the thickness uh, Okay Kalau ada stylus Ada drawing pad tablet Boleh cucuk dia auto detect Kalau tak just use the mouse. Tadi I guna mouse saja. It's quite beautiful. What happened is a lot of people do not realize open board actually comes with a recording feature. So you go to open board kat tepi ni, icon open board on the top right. You you don't have to do it because you don't have don't have it installed yet. Kalau ada ada okay, tapi sekarang ni jangan install dulu. Just tengok apa yang saya buat ni. Kat tepi ni it has podcast. So if you click this one and then go for podcast Okay, let me just activate it again. Um, you will see the recording button. A lot of people, when they see podcast, even I was kind of like cheated at first. I thought podcast, in this case, is just audio, meaning our voice only. Little that I realized at first, it actually records everything, including whatever you scribble on the whiteboard. Macam, macam yang tadi lah kan? Contoh video tadi. Okay, contoh saya buat sekarang. So what happened is, the moment you want to record your video, you just click this record button. Okay, it will start recording together with your microphone if you're talking. All right. And then you just write something. Let's say I'm going to talk about online teaching. Okay, so let's say I write something. So I say 1 plus 1 equals 2. 2 plus 2 equals 4. Blah, 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 blah. So let's say I do whatever I need. All right. And then I stop. The moment I click stop, the video is ready. All right. If I go to show the stop now, if I minimize this one, jangan. I hope you can see this. Are you able to see this file? Uh, the open broadcast WMV file on my desktop. Okay. You see, just now I just click stop, the video is ready. So fast. Of course, it's short. But even if you do long video, it's very spontaneous, almost, almost instantly. So if I play this now, okay, it will start recording together with your microphone if you're talking. All right. And then you just write something. Let's say I'm going to talk about 
online you see it's recording teaching. immediately this is Okay, really, so really something. amazing. So I say one okay, plus like, one show it to my equals uh, two, in FK, two you know, plus engineering and all that. two equals four. They instantly four, produce a lot of videos. Blah, 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 blah. So let's say I one, do whatever I need, night, all right? And then I stop. Before this, what happened was they did it on PowerPoint and then when, when you know, when it sings, it doesn't sync well because it go off the macam slide tu kan. Kita cakap di slide satu, dia pergi ke slide dua. So a lot of, a lot of adjustment needed in PowerPoint slide. So, so this one, it uh, it actually quite smooth lah, you know. So far when I tested and even a lot of lectures tested, memang smooth. And it feels like Han Academy punya uh, video. Question from uh, John. Can we pause what? Yes, you can. All right, yes, you can. So let me just click here. Right, so you see it right now, it's paused. You, know? you can see the time here, it's 27. If I click again, then it will, it will, it will just record again, all right? Okay, let's say, the problem with this is the only issue that I had with this one is um, the trimming. All right, the trimming. So it doesn't come with the trimming, auto trimming. I mean, sometimes keep the, the, at the front part we want to cut off, all right, and or at the end we want to cut off. So you have to use another software. The one you have to use uh, video editing software to cut off, you know, the trimming. Or you can do it in the YouTube if you, if you upload it to YouTube, all right. It also comes with multiple pages. Right, multiple pages. Right now is page number one. Right, so I can add multiple pages. Or, okay, let me let me do this. Show desktop. Let's say I open this browser. Right, I open this this browser. If I use OpenBot and I click Show Desktop, it overlays on top of it. I can actually use the but you near know, all this thing and scribble on the website. And I can also record this if I turn on the recording uh, just now lah means uh, like this i repeat uh, this is the normal view if i turn on recording now all right and i go to desktop whatever i show on my desktop powerpoint slide word document browser whatever i show here i can do any annotation i can do whatever you know and then you know you do whatever you want and everything is recorded okay so so you can actually use this not only to show the whiteboarding you can also show uh, other thing. Contoh, hasil kerja pelajar kan? Sometimes you don't want to type out the, the thing, you just have to, you just want to verbally explain kenapa salah bagian tu. So you, you buka the word document yang pelajar punya assignment ke apa, and then you just turn on the recording, you just circle, oh yang ni salah, okay, yang ni salah sebab dia tak betul bla bla bla. tak perlu lah you type, and then bila pelajar nampak pun senang dia faham sebab they get your, they get your verbal feedback kan? And you can give the instant feedback immediately. Tanpa perlu, how to put it? Tanpa perlu wasting time to, to, apa ni? Uh, to type lah, kan? Kadang-kadang type pun student tak faham. So, you, this is one alternative. Kalau ada drawing drawing pad lagi, lagi cantik, alright? Okay. So, if you see the panel that I have here, you can also uh, select the folder for movies and all that. Even movies pun, kalau you play, you can all, all record the movies as you play and then you can do scribble if you need lah right and there are other things for you to explore as well but just by doing what i show you just now all this rec you know drawing and all that and then recording is already good enough to 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 let you produce a lot of video okay kalau nak tunjuk gambar dulu you can add the you can you know put the pictures and then drag the pictures here and then do whatever you want and then record so this is one of the best tool to produce content for your uh, for your subject lah. Kalau ada subject yang perlu guna, perlu buat uh, calculation, you know, explanation. Nah, yang ni yang ni paling senang. Even even tak cantik sangat pun, student still appreciate sebab dia faham, dia dia clear, alright. Tak perlu risau sangat tentang, you know, tak tunjuk muka ke and and and, and all that. So uh, as long as they get, you know, what you're trying to convey. Try try this and see if you're producing content now, waiting while waiting for your you know student to come in upper, you can try, alright. Uh, there are other tools, yang ni highlighter saja, tak lah tu, tapi yang ni pointer, alright, yang ni pointer, uh, not really tu, kalau malas nak scribble, you can also type, welcome to the course, okay, so you can see here, besarkan, tukar colour, very nice tool lah to me, very very nice tool for you to just produce video instantly, dah lah far dia tak, 
uh, dalam file dia tak besar. The file is quite small just now because dia tak ada unsur-unsur uh, grafik yang terlalu complicated. Very straightforward. Your file is small. So you can either upload to uh, YouTube and then make it unlisted and share to your student. Or kalau student you tak nak mampu nak load YouTube event, you can even share dalam uh, WhatsApp sebab WhatsApp dia akan compress lagi. So dah lah file dia kecil and then bila ke WhatsApp lagi lah dia compress and then it helps to to spread out the content faster lah. Okay. Brand for drawing tablet yang paling popular I think yang tu lah tu. Yang, yang Wacom tu tapi I think sekarang a lot of cikgu-cikgu uh, pun guna yang tu. Yang brand China tu. I can't remember the name. Sekejap lah. Kalau Apa nama dah? Pergi Shopee sekejap. Okay kita shopping sekejap. Sekejap I clear ni. Clear, 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 clear. Okay. Yang ni, yang yang apa nama dia? Drawing tablet. Okay. Apa nama dah? Ah, yang ni. Yang ni popular. H.U. Huion ni. Satu lebih. A lot of cikgu guna yang ni. In fact, a lot of my a lot of my uh, colleague pun buat beli yang ni. Sebab kalau nak better sikit, boleh beli yang Wacom tu. Yang Wacom paling murah dalam 200 lebih. Okay. Uh, Dorong tablet ni boleh digunakan for Autodesk. Applicable on iOS device, which one? You mean the this one? Yes, you see this one. Tapi dia dia datang biasanya dengan uh, apa ni? It comes straight with the uh, Android kan? Kalau nak guna iOS, you can, you have to download an extra extra app lah. But if you are talking about open board, open board is only for desktop lah. Uh, open board software tadi is only for desktop. It's not for mobile. So So use it on laptop, okay? Yang mana yang yang tablet ni ke? Ya yeah, boleh. Tablet ni boleh. Dia boleh ke tab, dia boleh sambung ke phone, boleh sambung ke laptop. Memang sambung ke laptop pun, right? Yang ni lah brand ni yang paling popular. In fact, a lot cikgu beli yang ni, okay? Sebab cikgu kan, I think in your case pun sama juga. Um, kalau kalau tak tak nak guna iPad lah. Yang macam your kawan macam Tuan, Tuan Mazdan ni cadang ni. Ha. Kalau tak nak guna iPad, ha, guna yang ni lah. Yang ni paling low cost lah actually. Cikgu-cikgu uh, di sekolah biasanya beli yang ni untuk marking. Sebab student kan submit assignment guna gambar. So dia boleh terus lukis-lukis atas tu. Actually kalau kita tak nak beli tablet, just guna the open board. If you just bought, but use this open board, you can do the same thing. If you show your student work tadi, you just open your student work in image too and then you just draw lah okay okay and then save it okay and then the, that's another another way of using open board okay any other question ah, ada yang nak request lah boleh request iCats dengan VPKSB tak lah mahal kan ha seorang satu <laughs> in Unimas we recommend that one and then a lot of lecturers actually bought that one sebab murah kan and then kita pun tak tahu sampai bila kita guna ni So sampai sam, sam, apa sementara waktu boleh guna kita guna kita hasilkan as many as we can. Okay. So ada ada juga yang sel, um, in my case saya selalu dapat soalan perlu ke kita upload ke YouTube video-video kita. I say terpulang kalau kita rasa malu sangat takut orang jumpa ke apa uh, just put it unlisted tapi jangan letak private kalau letak private nobody can see your video. Tapi kalau rasa malas juga, you can always upload it in Google Drive and then share your Google Drive dalam Google Classroom ataupun just share the folder Google Drive tu kepada your pelajar. Cuma isu dia ialah when you upload your file directly, it doesn't have that streaming compression. So, student kena download have semua. Contoh kalau file tu, contohlah 300 MB, student akan download 300 MB. Kalau di YouTube, walaupun kita upload 300 MB, kalau connection pelajar tu slow, YouTube akan automatic reduce dia punya quality to let's say 240p and all that. So walaupun file asal, asal 300 MB, bila dia stream guna YouTube, tak sampai kadang-kadang tak sampai 10 megabyte pun. Alright? Sebab YouTube dia ada streaming punya mechanism. Alright? So dia dapat save sikit data. So pro and cons, kalau memang tak nak upload to YouTube juga, then you buat ke Google Drive. Uh, tapi saya do recommend you to just use YouTube je lah. Cuma jangan jangan letak public. Okay, go to YouTube. Bila you add video tu, 
yang tak perlu letak public just letak unlisted unlisted means hanya pelajar ataupun orang yang ada link tersebut nampak your video right okey yang ni eh yang ni memang i think even review yang i notice even dalam kalau you if you are on facebook you can join some of the group for the teachers and all that uh, memang ramai yang review ni and then i i saw the no, the rating pun bagus memadai lah dengan harga Ni jauh lebih murah dengan Wacom. Kalau Wacom uh, belum tentu you dapat harga ni. Okay. Macam Wacom tengok yang ni, ha, 300 lebih. Same, more or less the same size. Okay. Of course, Wacom is the industry standard lah kan. Yang selalu kita dengar kan. Any tablet, Wacom or uh, uh, you know, we on and all that. The moment you plug in to uh, your open board, you can just activate the stylus here dia akan dia akan tukarkan this you tak perlu guna mouse you just grow atas itulah okey kalau you ada iPad boleh guna iPad kalau your laptop sedia ada dah touch screen memang dah touch screen all you need you just get a cheap uh, stylus tu pen pen untuk lukis atas your touch screen kalau your sebab ada laptop yang memang touch screen kan some laptop comes with a touch screen uh, monitor so you can just get the stylus pen and then draw on it that will save a lot of cost tak perlu beli tablet baru Alright, but for me, I tak ada tablet or tak ada pen, I just guna mouse. <laughs> Good enough lah, I mean, to to deliver because um, cuma kadang-kadang, I know sometimes kalau you nak lukis, uh, bukan lukis, nak, nak tulis formula yang rumit sikit, uh, having a pen would help. Sebab kalau mouse, dia tak tak cukup sensitive, right? So, nak lukis contoh X kuasa 2 pun nanti, you know, dia jadi macam Y ke apa. Okay, so these are the issue. Okay, any other question for open board? Before I move on, ada lagi soalan? Kalau ada Boleh cuba open board, you'll be amazed Okay, cuba hasilkan video and then share-share juga di di YouTube Mana tahu nanti macam ni Yang yang bundahnya fizik ni Okay Dalam tempoh masa PKP ni, subscriber dia meningkat sebab Dia duduk share, you know, and all that So you might want to do that, okay Back to the question just now Do you need to produce videos? Depend if you notice that whatever you need to cover tak ada di YouTube sedia ada then you don't uh, you have to create meaning uh, tak ada yang uh, terangkan konsep tersebut ataupun that that part that you wanted uh, in the existing video so you terpaksa lah buat tapi kalau dah ada contoh you ada fizik and then you nampak dalam dalam video ni ada so you can just take yang ni dipanggil curation curation ialah kita memilih bahan-bahan pengajaran yang sedia ada and then we put it in our uh, course online course or online teaching but i do encourage you jangan totally curate has cuba hasilkan juga content sendiri so just to um, um, you know just to engage your students sebab students bila dia perasan that that a lot of our content are taken curated all over and then tak ada pun hasil original kita tak kisahlah uh, video ke slides ke and all that they tend to think that we are not putting effort Padahal kita kerja lebih, right? We we are using a lot of effort to to curate, but they don't see that. That's the problem. So we just we just have to do like one or two videos, uh, maybe as the intro or whatever, and then the rest you can be curated. So they see that you actually put effort to produce the video. They will be more willing to 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 engage in your content or your teaching lah. That's one tip to engage your students. Macam kita mas masa kita jadi pelajar lah. Kalau kita nampak pencerahan tu macam semua semua benda ambil daripada sumber lain. Contoh slide pun ambil daripada buku teks contohnya. Yang buku teks bagi CD tu nah, dia ambil yang tu saja Dia tak tukar pun. Misal kata contohnya. So, bila kita nampak pencarah macam tu atau pengajar macam tu, kita pun hilang minat terhadap pengajaran tersebut sebab nampak macam pencarah pun tak ada effort, tak ada ataupun pengajar pun tak ada usaha nak ajar kita. Of course lah pelajar pun tak ada, tak ada you know, tak ada engagement lah. So, this is one of the things that you have to be, be, be concerned about. Just show that you you also have your own original content i'm not saying that automatically your student will like you or will will really amaze with you but at least there are certain, certain content that would attract them you know so terpulang mana yang boleh buat kita buat mana yang tak boleh kita tak perlu buat kita curate ya uh, mana yang sedia ada cuma saya tak galakkan guna video-video yang at copyright uh, macam mana kita tahu copyright dia dah terang-terang letak logo kat atas tu semua tu macam dalam video dia ada letak copyright semua tu, jangan gunalah avoid. So, uh, takut nanti jadi isu. Okay. But in teaching and learning, uh, so far no no big no big 
problem in a way even if some uh, some people notice that you use it but because you're just using it for online teaching they don't really mind tapi kalau kita jual benda tu ha itu yang jadi isu lah kalau if we just using it for the purpose of teaching and learning shouldn't be a problem okay all right ada soalan tak so far kita dah hampir 11 ni okay this is the part yang i will okay tadi dah buklap then open board now we will go to kalau nak kalau yang nak hasilkan screen casting and all that tahu kan screen ni macam tadilah tu screen cast juga cuma screen cast tanpa web webcam so i just ketuk ni yang ni i, I tak, tak tahu berapa yang tak uh, berapa orang yang tahu pasal loom ni you dengar loom uh, zoom tapi yang ni loom l right loom loom ni ialah dia macam macam juga open board tadi cuma dia 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 ada hasil tambahan iaitu kita boleh tunjuk webcam kita Right, kita boleh record webcam kita and then setakat ni free uh, sepatutnya berbayar kalau kita tekan pricing kat sini sepatutnya berbayar alright pro and all that tapi sekarang ni sebab tempo uh, pandemic ni Loom telah uh, bagi basic ni walaupun basic dia bagi unlimited uh, usage walaupun basic so kita boleh guna okay then yang bagusnya anda tak perlu download the the versi desktop anda hanya perlu kalau guna browser Chrome just install di browser Chrome dia akan keluar apa ni dia akan keluar icon kat sini lah okay so kalau you sign I just tunjuk ah you don't have to do it yet kalau nak try pun boleh sorry bukan sign up sign in kalau yang belum sign in tu okay just tunjuk dulu Eh, ni single sign out ni. Sorry. Sign in with Google. Okay. So, kalau nak senang, Loom for Chrome. Okay. Just type Loom for Chrome. Ni kalau tak nak install ya. Just Loom for Chrome. Just add to Chrome. Okay. Dia akan keluar kat atas ni nanti. Nampak tak? So dia akan keluar kat sini. Loom. Loom for Chrome has been added. Alright. So kalau Okay. Fungsi Loom for Chrome, uh, Loom ni ialah dia record apa yang berlaku di screen kita. Whatever happen in on our screen. This is screen casting on screen recording. Uh, it will be recorded. Contoh, kita nak buat video tutorial, right? How to do certain things. So we can just uh, buka. Contoh, I want to show you how to go to this page. So I can just tekan di uh, the loom tu alright oh, sorry just activate this okay i tak dapat on kan my video sebab i tengah gunakan my video Let's skip for now tapi akan nampak you can see my face here alright yang ni bayangkan kalau i ada kalau I ada webcam, dia akan keluar sini lah. Sekarang tak dapat tunjuk webcam sebab saya tengah gunakan webcam dalam zoom ni. So you can pick sama ada nak tunjuk uh, screen dengan cam. Okay. Screen dengan camera sekali. Ataupun screen only. Ataupun cam only. Okay. Ha, tak dapat lah sebab I tengah guna ni. So but you get to choose. And then kalau rasa gambar tu besar sangat, you can just meet besar, uh, sorry, kecil sangat. Nak besarkan pun boleh. Tapi biasanya kita guna size ni lah. So you boleh letak mana-mana. Alright. And if you need to record, sorry, saya tekan yang ni juga. Just tekan start recording. Then dia akan record apa yang you cakap dengan apa yang you tunjuk. Alright. Di, di screen. So ni adalah cara paling pantas untuk hasilkan video screen casting. Tanpa guna software macam screencast-o-matic uh, apa lagi screen screen screencastify and all that yang tu sebab kenapa saya tak galakkan sebab dia ada limit 5 minit ada yang limit, limit 3 minit ada yang comes with watermark so the the watermark is so huge so it disturb the the view yang loom no watermark at all okay and then you can you can share your video to uh, to your students you can download it contoh once i have recorded like this this is a sample that i recorded I can download this video. Okay, kalau kita I boleh adjust. Kalau rasa nak nak letak tepi pun boleh. Dia ada versi, versi besar, versi besar. Macam tu lah. Okay. So yang ni kalau biasanya kita letak kat tepi. Okay.
So this sample and then you can just download. Yang part download ni yang best sebab dia tak ada watermark, tak ada apa-apa. So you can just upload your video to YouTube or share it somewhere else lah. If you do not want to share it in Loom. Okay. If you want to directly share, you can just copy this link. Copy link ni. If you have your Google Classroom, just share it in your Google Classroom punya link tadi. And then student can watch the video directly from Google Classroom. Macam kita share ke, macam kita share ke YouTube ke lah. Same function. Okay. Yes, I just say same like OBS Studio. Yes, yes. Cuma OBS Studio tu requires a bit of uh, adjustment. Yang tak pernah guna OBS, maybe unfamiliar, you have to set the display capture and all that. Okay, that will be another alternative. But uh, the good thing about Loom is you don't have to install uh, additional software. It comes with the browser itself. The downside of Loom is, I what I notice is, if it's longer than five minutes, you have to uh, kind of like pause or cut it first and then you record another one because kalau tak, the conversion will be so slow it will it will it will convert just that you will have to wait uh, longer okay so this is another issue that uh, you will face but the good thing is in loom if you see it here you get to trim you know you can you can cut uh, do some additional stuff with your video lah okay this is one tool that you can you can use Alright, so tadi uh, open board untuk yang nak lukis-lukis, yang ni Loom adalah directly screen capture. Kalau open board tu, you can directly save the whole video, you tak perlu Loom lagi dah, faham tak? Maksudnya tak perlu tak perlu gunakan Loom di belakang, uh, di depan untuk record uh, whiteboarding, tak perlu. Because it's already recorded directly. So that's the good thing about open board uh, software, it directly convert to video. Tak perlu risau nak, you know, nak buka Loom lah, apalah uh, and all that. This type of uh, video is good kalau you nak tunjuk tutorial, right? If you go to my, later on you can go to my YouTube channel. Uh, I have a lot of videos like that because what I noticed is because I was targeting teachers. I like this one, I, I like your friend mentioned, nak, nak buat OBS, right? So this is, this is like, this is OBS. Gunakan untuk tujuan streaming. Senang. So, so kita kena tambah. Supaya dia lock, supaya dia kita Sekejap. Okay, so you have In OBS, if you are using OBS, you have to set like this. You have to set the window capture and then set the webcam capture and all that. So it, it takes a bit of uh, adjustment. But it will be nice because you can change the background and whatnot. So nanti boleh explore yang ni. Um, if you have question, you can ask me. But same function is to record whatever is on display on your screen. Alright, and then you can add your webcam. Like in this tutorial, I dah tambah my my webcam dalam tu okay so i can actually record myself this is another alternative okay all right so um, loom ini pergi install ke or buka dari google loom you uh, you type loom for chrome dulu again i repeat ah loom for chrome perlu buka daripada chrome ah google chrome yang ni you akan nampak loom for chrome kena install dulu extension, plugin sebenarnya, plugin. Tak perlu download the Loom yang macam full package tu. Dia ada juga tapi tak perlu download. Kalau kalau nak download boleh tapi tak tak wajib. Cuma yang ni dia dalam uh, Chrome. So kalau dalam Chrome, make sure your things are all uh, di di Chrome lagi senang lah. Macam slide, upload dulu macam saya ni. I upload dulu my slide ke Google Slides. So bila saya present and then saya tekan uh, Loom tadi. Kalau saya tekan Loom nanti, dia akan capture my my slide lah. Itu cara dia. Okay. Tapi kalau nak guna, guna juga versi desktop, just type Loom desktop. Just type Loom desktop. Kat bahagian download ni, dia ada download for PC. Tapi sekarang tak ada untuk Mac ataupun, ya tak ada untuk Mac lagi. Uh, dia, I think ada versi lama kot. Tapi you can cuba. Alright. Tapi kat sini lah. Bezel dia ialah kalau you install dalam PC, dia didatangkan dengan pen. I tak install, tapi dia datang dengan pen. Ni, pen ni. Sekejap, I tunjuk. I log out first. The difference between Chrome punya version dengan uh, Loom yang desktop tu, uh, ini yang ni versi desktop, you nampak tak dia ada pen lebih kat tepi ni. Okay, dia ada extra pen yang you can scribble-scribble. Macam open board tadi lah. Cuma yang ni, dia ada dua layer. Okay, banyak 
dia jam macam 2 layer pula kerja. So kalau open board, you buat jadi open board, it will automatically record uh, itself as a video file. So you don't need an additional software to record the screen. Okay. Okay, ada lagi soalan tentang Loom ni. Okay. OBS Studio boleh try juga. OBS Studio ni nampak nampak big comment but I, I also most of my video memang guna OBS Studio sebab lagi lagi senang nak nak manipulate. But um, most of my video just to share with you memang macam ni saja. Maksudnya screen cast saja. And then uh, tak perlu tunjuk muka pun tak apa. Asalkan our steps is clear and then student understand what we understand uh, under you know Uh, student understand what we're trying to convey. Okay, macam yang ni untuk my classes uh, for my undergraduate courses. Macam yang ni, I guna OBS. If you don't have a proper... So ni, and then the, this is my slide, this is my face lah kalau I perlu nak, nak, nak tunjuk face. Kalau tak, actually memadai dengan memadai dengan uh, the slide itself. Tak perlu my face pun. Okay. Okay, tu... Recording, yes, yes, yes. Don't worry. The whole video nanti, you will get it juga untuk recording hari ini. Jangan risau. Sekali dengan slide semua. Nanti pergi balik ke Google Classroom kita ni. Everything will be here. Okay? Don't worry. Memang direkod sebab takut nanti takut nanti ada isu yang lagging kan. So you might miss out certain information. So I will share with the video, video as well. Okay. Last sekali for today is um, Canva. Oh yeah, by the way. Yang I tunjuk you ni, open board, you know, WooClap, Loom, or even uh, Canva semua nanti. From our view is for us to create content untuk kita hasilkan bahan PDP, pengajaran dan pembelajaran, uh, pengajaran dan pembelajaran. Tapi, kalau kita reverse the role, we can also ask student to do it. Maksud dia, biasanya kalau kita yang buat, kita can, can, we can ask student to to submit something using all these tools juga. Tak semestinya tunggu tunggu kita sahaja buat kan. So we can always reverse it. So might as well, uh, you know, uh, have one or two, two uh, tasks. Yeah, one or two tasks yang requires them to to submit in this form. Okay. Another one is, um, yes. Uh, yeah, you can also do live straight to FB. Yeah, yang macam your kawan share tu. Kalau ada, kalau you ada class group di uh, FB, uh, you can live stream. Tu satu advantage je lah. Okay. Cuma, Yalah, ada yang tak comfortable dengan live streaming semua tu. Ha, yang tu you can just record, tak perlu tak perlu streaming. Okay, anyway. Um, back to Canva. Okay, Canva I know a lot of you know that dia boleh design, boleh design a lot of things. Boleh design slide, boleh design poster semua tu. Tapi Canva lately dah improve in terms of video. So kalau you pergi ke bahagian video ni, Misal katalah kita want to create video, we would like to create video for certain concept teaching and all that. Kita tak nak pun guna conventional macam slide way and all that. We want to use the template in Canva. You can just go to canva.com, alright? Mana yang mana yang ada account boleh sign in, mana yang tak ada, can just create an account. Contoh I pick uh, this one. Okay, this is Canva. Alright. So if I play this one, uh, okay, jump. okay. Let's say I add new page. All right. Yeah, ni contoh I can see lah. Contoh what what do I type here? Okay. Uh, contoh lah topic of the week. Okay. Contoh. Yang bagusnya Canva ialah you can edit terus. All right. Tak perlu down. Uh, tak perlu download software apa apa. Just guna. Alright, uh, intro to technology. Contoh lah, just sample only. So sini kalau you dah buat video, you can upload your video and put your video here. So upload sini. Alright, kalau video, just upload your video and then drag it here. Sekarang saya tak ada video. So what happen is, I will just search video. Contoh technology, I search video technology. Let's say I like this video. Oh sorry, mana? Oh okay, kalau kalau free account for pro, uh, sorry, free account for Canva, you akan nampak pro ni. So yang pro tu you tak dapat guna. Ah ni, tadi yang free ke? Jap. <laughs> Ataupun I type computer. Okay. Oh ya, yeah. boleh filter kat sini. Sorry, lupa. Okay, filter. Free. Okay, contoh yang ni. So I just drag. 
I can just put it here. Misal kata ni contoh saja. Okay. And then I can add a slide here. Let's say it's another video. Can overlay it here. And then I can add my text. Contoh, this this type of video is suitable kalau kita nak ajar konsep penting. Right? Contoh, I can just put here. Uh, key point number one. Okay. And then you you turn lah, blah 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 blah, you know, blah 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 blah. De, 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 de. Okay, so if you like to add your voice, you can just record it. For example, you use the uh, open board to record or whatever, right? Upload it, upload it here first, and then you drag your video to the background. That it becomes your the voice. Okay, so ni 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 salah satu cara cepat nak buat video gunakan Canva tanpa gunakan software uh, berat-berat lah macam you know Adobe Premiere semua tu alright and then kalau kita nak test kita just test right this is this is how it looks like uh, this type of video is good if you are just doing a short intro to certain topic alright and or highlight the key key revision part okay if it's too long, you can always uh, trim. All right, the can trim kat atas tu, and then you trim it down. Okay, don't worry about all these steps. Huh? Everything will be, everything will be. Uh, nanti I will terangkan. Cuma I just want you to see how this thing can be used. Not so much about uh, forcing you to immediately use it dulu. Cuma you see how it can be, can be, can be used. Let's say you want to have some music because maybe it's a bit boring to listen. So you can just see the music here. And then if you want, just pick for the free one. Banyak actually. So contoh, I just drag. Just drag sahaja and then you will see the music here. And then kalau music tu kuat sangat, you can just reduce the volume. Okay. And then tekan play. So you can create all this video rapidly. Kalau you buat unit by unit, banyak you boleh buat sebenarnya video senang-senang. Even kalau nak buat promo event ke, apa ke, you want to sell product ke, you want to make nampak senang, tak perlu perfection tu. So this is baru satu, tambah lagi, dia macam tambah, you know, just add in your things and then you can create uh, different types of video. Very, very fast. And then, uh, download, just click download, download the video can save it. So far Canva tak limit walaupun you basic account, you can download it in in uh, video format. Alright. Uh, walaupun dia letak beta, uh, you know, means masih trial, you can just save it. Right. Download. Okay. This is the beauty of Canva. Ramai ingat Canva hanya untuk buat poster semua tu. Sekarang dia dah added feature for video. Even uh, a lot of uh, YouTube content pun datang daripada Canva sebenarnya. Kalau you pergi ke template ni. Uh, where is it? Okay. If I go to the form. If you go to YouTube thumbnails and all that, let me just search. Yeah, YouTube video, you see, if I type YouTube video, kan macam YouTube video yang intro semua tu, dulu kita susah kena buat di, you know, after effect lah. Macam-macam kan. Now, even if you use OBS ke apa, you can just download this and masuk dalam OBS, it becomes your intro. You can do countdown timer, you know, all this ads semua ni. Banyak ni. Alright. And most of it are free. Yang ni macam yang YouTube yang belakang tu. Alright. Contoh kalau I click this one. I can do an intro for all my videos by using this template contohnya. So, I can just insert my my video. Okay. So, contoh instead of the word okay, pop, I can say uh well maybe uh let's say lecture one okay blah 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 so you can just do the, the slides instead of in the form of um normal powerpoint of course you don't do this all the time when you when you think you you, you need some uh, excitement for your students then you can do one maybe right for this type of video but i'm telling you that canva is capable of doing this so there's no excuse that you have to learn like, you know, uh, a very advanced software and all that. Canva is good enough for you to produce quality content using, uh, you know, Canva yang sedia ada lah. Tak perlu nak busy-busy belajar, you know, all this complicated software. It's good enough for you, for you to know this. Okay. Ada lagi soalan? 
Nampak banyak dah software yang kita cover ni. Esok lagi banyak. Esok terus masuk tu, uh, untuk sesi bagi kita terus masuk ke aktiviti yang macam aktiviti yang uh, you selalu guna. Uh, I will try to go through Kahoot, quizzes and all that. Tapi I will highlight the element yang mungkin you terlepas pandang. Right? Things that I know you have used it but maybe you didn't realize that it exists. Alright? So that you can it can improve your your delivery. So tomorrow punya focus is more on uh, assessment. Kalau you ada contoh-contoh assessment yang you dah, you know, you have done so far or you have prepared, good to good to let me know also tomorrow and then we'll see how to map it. Uh, I think yang tu lebih critical sebenarnya sebab content in terms of teaching, more or less you dah ada. Even you tak ada video pun, you dah ada slide semua tu. But um, assessment lah, you know, right? You want your student to be able to submit, you want your student to be able to Uh, to, to to produce good things. So nanti esok kita kita fokus on that. Okay, ada soalan tak? Dah sebelas lebih ni untuk sesi pagi ni. Nanti saya akan upload sini untuk hari ni. Ada soalan tak? Boleh tanya sekarang. You can ask me now if you have any. Alright, so that you know. But tomorrow will be the one that I think you have you're more interested in the assessment part. Uh, I'll try to, I try my best to cover whatever I know for assessment. Um, but uh, at, at your site, if you have any, you know, on your site, if you have any uh, assessment that you have done, just show me tomorrow maybe, all right? Or maybe just, just let me know so that I can kind of uh, give some idea uh, how to change, all right? Or how to, how to convert uh, certain, certain assessment, okay? Any question? Ada yang terlepas uh, attendant tu, just masuk ke ni nanti. Kalau yang guna PPKS punya email, log out dulu guna personal email lah. Ha? Then pergi ke Google Classroom, masuk ke ni. Okay. And then jangan lupa click the attendance. Don't forget to click the attendance and then this one. Okay. Any question so far? I think I'm going to stop sharing this. Good to see your faces juga. <laughs> Ada soalan? So far so good. Yeah, so far I will list out everything in uh, Google Classroom, don't worry. Alright, kita pun try to, apa ni? Kita pun cuba nak digest semua kan, I know. Uh, so I will try to focus more on assessment part. I think today is more on that content creation lah. You decide dulu apa yang perlu di create, whether you need to create video ke, uh, or uh, you need to curate things yang sedia ada. Okay. Cantik bilik sir. <laughs> Aduh. Tu wall ni je cantik. Belah ni semua kotor. Okay tak adalah. <laughs> okay any other question? Your your online teaching ni memang akan sampai December ke? Or uh, kau belum belum pasti lagi? Takat ni. Belum belum ada confirmation. Which which file Rachel? Which file are you referring to? Which file are you referring to, Rachel? Uh, the one in Drive. Which one? This session. You mean the video? The um, the video I will try to upload to YouTube. Kalau nak, kalau tak, I will share to the. Uh, I think I will upload to YouTube for the video for this session. Uh, I think it's going to be quite big if I just bagi raw ni, kan? But I will try to trim lah. Alright, I'll try to cut. Tu. But all the things like macam all the uh, all the uh, step by step guide for WooClap, step by step guide for uh, uh, all this uh, you know open board and all that, I will put in PDF form. Semua kecil kecil je file dia, right? just step by step. Kalau anda perlu refresh lah, just step. Do I need Beach Storage for that? Which app? Canva app is free to download. Uh, Canva for phone, yes, it's is available. You can download dalam Android atau mana OS. Cuma kalau dalam versi versi phone ni dia kecil sikit and then susah you nak edit-edit tu. So I I do recommend you guna uh, desktop. You can download the desktop version. Alright. Big storage for the app. I think depend on what you use. Kalau video you banyak sangat memang storage dia akan besar lah. Uh, kalau you sekadar guna the basic wording tu, uh, dia file dia tak besar. Even tadi, kalau I buat uh, video yang jenis text mostly, If the video is about 3 minutes, I think it's less than less than 20 to 30 megabyte. Tak besar. Alright. Tak, tak, bukan, bukan macam sampai beratus-ratus MB. Alright. Okay. 
bagaimana kita nak pastikan komputer berfungsi sepenuhnya untuk menggunakan pengajaran yang ni susah yang nak jawab ni berfungsi sepenuhnya means um, pada tahap yang baik lah kan tu terpulang juga dengan uh, PC anda yang sedia ada ni but I do recommend sebelum kita start um, before we even start any online teaching it's good to check juga but biasanya kalau komputer slow uh, dia jadi lagging lah it's not about the connection sometimes kadang-kadang connection tu bagus tapi laptop kita slow so everything jadi macam slow right you you buka screen share pun slow your video jadi slow so that is also quite critical so kalau laptop yang dah tua-tua tu boleh lah consider like upgrade sikit <laughs> minta subsidi <laughs> PPKS ke iCats ke alright okay ada ni ha, yang tu Sazuan tu pakar streaming tu ha, tu nampak <laughs> tu expert streaming lah ada boleh consult dia juga ada lagi soalan sebelum ni tu but I, I would love to if everyone dapat turn on your webcam sekejap kita ambil group photo untuk hari ni before we before we wrap up tak saya tak 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 muat semua ni sebab ada satu lebih but um yeah i do recommend kalau if you really want to if you really really need to do online teaching and your laptop is or you notice that it's quite old it's is a good investment to to get a new one lah but if you are having some financial problem dulu tak mampu nak upgrade tu ah no need lah okay I mean, bukan no need lah. I mean, tunggu dulu, sabar dulu, guna mana yang ada or pinjam ke. Alright. I mean, sometimes you have to do that. Macam my click lah yang di FK tu, bila dia dah frust dengan yang tulis guna mouse tu, dia frust sangat. The next day, dia terus beli the drawing tablet because she couldn't stand guna mouse tu, you know, holding the mouse. Terpaksa lah kan kita invest sebab kita, we, we want it to be easier for us juga. Okay. Tu tak ada social distancing ke tu? Izu, tempat Izuddin tu, ramai-ramai tu. <laughs> okay. Eh, jap, jap, jap. Okay. Uh, tak nak, ya, dia yang tak nak buka ke? Cik, ke nak tunggu semua? <laughs> eh, nak screenshot di, uh, nak, nak screenshot ke mana ni? Okay, jap. Okay, if you can just turn on the video sekejap. Okay. Okay, just, just let me screenshot. Okay, next. Ada tiga pages ni. Ha, tiga pages ni. I don't know whether you can see everyone. I have to, have to snap this. By the way, uh, so far yang guna Zoom, ada experience any problem? Like, apa problem utama yang kalau kita guna Zoom? I don't know whether you experience that. Boleh share sikit kalau... Play on mic kalau nak, tak perlu, tak perlu, you don't have to chat. So far, those who, those of you who are using Zoom, time limitation 14 minutes. Anything else yang biasanya? Pernah dengar Webex? Pernah dengar Webex? Ada yang, Oh, ada yang ada yang guna webex tak? Dah screenshot, screenshot. Dah dah, dah screenshot dah. <laughs> tak apa. Okay. Uh, by the way, I forgot the whole session is recorded anyway, so I cannot I can still screenshot from the from the from the video. Okay, anyway, I'll see you again tomorrow. Alright. Tapi tomorrow, uh, the focus will be on assessment. I think yang tu lebih uh, itulah like I told you, lebih penting. So, kalau you have any idea, let me know juga. You can always bask me tomorrow morning. Once we start tu, just quickly let me know apa yang you rasa you want me to cover. So, about kadang-kadang, I don't know what you have learned, you know, before that. So, mungkin tu yang I introduce tu dah, you dah pernah guna. So, it's a bit waste of your time lah macam untuk dengar benda sama. So, let me know what else you need to 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 learn and then I'll tell you. The uh, the pelilit MQ tadi dah ada kan? Oh, I can share in the I will share in the group kas, uh, apa? Kasum, Google Classroom juga nanti. Okay. Alright. So far no problem for today. I will con we'll continue tomorrow um, same time at nine. Uh, kalau ada problem loading the video, don't have to turn on your video tomorrow. Just listen for the conversation and then you can follow up with the video.